when it, when it comes to the hearts, because I saw you on Juice 2.0, mm. uh, um, are you I'm going steady with anyone? I don't know if that type of word can be used. Yeah. Are you having any girlfriends at this point? Like at which someone point? that you are with at now, currently. Then, as you were moving along, yeah, a couple. Okay, and like, like what did you learn from that experience about you know um, being a, a well-known rapper um, and 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 having um, a, you know a significant other? You know, being a rapper and having a significant other is very hard, man. Yeah. It's very very hard because. You don't want them following you to every show. <laughs> <laughs> now you're giving opinions about the verse, the bars. <laughs> like, oh, now, God. you know, ish. Hey. It's, it's, it's very hard. I believe, like, I learned that you need patience. Like, with a woman, you just need patience. Hey. You know? Even whether you're a rapper or not, they mean no harm. Hey. Rona as rappers were always like, ish. Hey, defense mode oh you don't like this i gotta cut you off oh yeah. you don't like this, i gotta but, yeah but then is it you know are all rappers promiscuous i mean would you call yourself no, a man. faithful guy yes never cheated on any of my girlfriends Negro, please. <laughs> <laughs> listen for real come on if I'm single, I'm single. But then why do you think it's so hard? Do they really believe you, though? Because they're with me all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> because I find it, like, really, really hard. Because, like, okay, they never believed me. <laughs> I'm saying, man, a lot of the things that I've seen cause distress between brothers is usually... Money get, yeah, or, the girls. Or, or pillow talk, yeah. you know, and some of it never ends well. Mm. And I'm just happy like you guys were able to find like a middle ground. Definitely. OTV too. Yeah. Am I moving too fast here? Nah, we're kicking it. No, because like you're a very private nigga, and yeah. I'm really trying to get to yeah to like some of the things that people don't know about yeah, you. Yeah. A lot of the music has been documented, mm. but like for some people, by and large want to make music as mm. good and as consistently mm. as you mm. i think this is also good but i'm looking for something for the room among us too mm. i keep failing because you're impenetrable no diddy <laughs> like how do you keep it tight like that no diddy no. <laughs> how do you like how papa i just like, mind you are completely i just mind my business teflon like mm. Honestly, I just mind my business. You don't, you're not out here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So, because a lot of dudes, uh, more, more, more music industry, I don't know, fall off because of, you know, promiscuity. And I, I can believe you, Gore. Mm. You are not out here, you mm. know, sl slanging schlong. <laughs> 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 you are not out here. Or what? Um, how do you stop yourself? Like, it is, it, it is easy. Do you? Is it your family? Is it how you're raised? How? Why do you think it's so easy for some niggas to get caught up? You know, because there's so many women and there's so much liquor, there's so much weed around. When no, you know, I'm going back there. When have when, you seen these parties that these niggas throw? The thing is, when 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 we when I do go out, I do go all out, you know. But I'm a homebound person. Hey. I guess it stems from me growing up in the different barracks, you know, because hey. I was just alone i had one friend you know yeah and i'm used to being alone it doesn't scare me if people say yo i'm with deja vu i'm like all right cool yeah it's fine i can go there next week we'll turn up and when we turn up we turn up but yeah i can't be i don't want to be seen too much also yeah <laughs> so i'm like Aish. i don't want to be seen too much so i just keep to myself yeah Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to it, another edition of the Pootycast coming at you 
Li- well, not really, but like live from Leo's Inn right here in BW in Raburoni, Kako uh, Middle Star, okay? Make sure that you come check them out, man. Just look at all of this beauty. This is where we're at. We usually shoot indoors, but today we thought it's a special moment. We got a special um, guest in the house, so we thought, why not? And we also got a special drink with us today, okay? We got ourselves some biscuit and Dubouche. Yeah. How he, feel, how he feels about it but yeah my name is SCAR and I am your host as usual and a shout out to the homies at Local Corner and they're the ones behind the lenses and make sure that you like and subscribe um, the page and of course the channel so that you check out all of the dope dope uh, content that they have for you just like this today we're hanging out with none other than a man yeah who's done it all man as far as be an MC, be an engineer. I don't know if he's dabbled in producing also, um, but he's one of our very, very most consistent artists in BW. He was part of the new age that came in after Boronayana. You know, they literally picked the bar up. That's what I think. And this is exactly why he's in the house. His full names are Luvuyo Lujoya. He'll explain it. His mom is a Kosa woman and his dad is a Tswana man. And so I guess this is where the diversity comes from. But yo, let me not take it all. He's in the house. Vizo, big Give it Caesar. Up, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Papa. I'm gonna need that intro on my alarm. Oh, yeah, you're a big man, Papa. Dango. You're a big, big man. You're in the house. You just came in from Mawung this yeah, past yeah. weekend. Yeah. How was that? That was, hey, Mawung is always a, a jump, man. They yeah. call it Miami, I get it. Hey, whatever happens there stays there. <laughs> yeah, we had a good time there. Yeah. Good show, as always. Me and Ben T rocked. This, this why so movement that you yeah, guys yeah. got going on. I mean, at first it was just a couple of shows and gaps. A lot of people were just thinking, yo, these guys, uh, now you're literally conquering Botswana. Mm. Yeah, the elements. But yo, you guys are conquering Botswana and you're doing it in a big, big way. Yeah. Did you guys make a conscious decision uh, or was this always the plan? Hello, you guys are going to do this. You know what? Disclaimer, Wiso is Benty's baby. You yes, know sir. what I mean? I'm just affiliated to Wiso. Benty's my boy. He's the, he's the one who's always coming up with these ideas and his team. Yeah. I had no idea about my own yeah. a month before. <laughs> so his team like, is the one who's literally exactly, always holding it down. Exactly. And I'm always going to be there because yeah. family. I love you know that. I mean? And that's what's crazy about it. And that's what I love the most. But before we even get into talking about all of that, yeah. I, I want to take it back to the beginning. Mm. Um, our notes here say that, you know, your dad was is a pilot. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, man, I wasn't around much <laughs> yeah, yeah. while you were growing up. And yeah, yeah. when your parents decided to split, and yeah. then you, you, you stayed with your mom and your older sister. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you grew up in Gaburoni. Yeah, I grew up in Khaboroni. Yeah. Yeah, my dad was a pilot. Uh, he's no longer around. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, my dad peace. used to fly two presidents, uh, <laughs> the excellencies Masere and Mugai. Yeah. Um, he was not around because we lived, like, in bases. Like, yeah. nah, my mom stayed in phase two. Yeah. Uh, so we'd visit sometimes, you the know. BDF camps, yeah. So he was barely there just because school was nearer to me and my mom lived in the city you know hey, hey. not that he wasn't present yeah like, you know like how that, these, you know what i mean these write-ups come up yeah. no, no 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 yeah then we ended up moving with in with him Glen Valley, and my parangwan yeah uh, all the barracks no doubt but yeah. but in, in in all of this where are you going to school like where was your primary school at and primary like school that? i get my mom was living in phase two yeah. we were right next door to Baobab. that's why i did my primary yeah secondary i went to map because mm-hmm. my sister used to tell me about map students I was like, you know what? Yeah. Okay, I my checking. Hey. This is where I need to be. Yeah. I don't want to hear anything. I was forcing my parents. They're like, yo, why do you want to go? I'm like, that's the only place I want to go. Yeah, man. And I ended up there, you know? I've, I've always wanted to, like, talk to you, you, you map kids. Yeah. Especially the ones that are rapping. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you guys think, like, you own this shit. Like, <laughs> what is it about <laughs> map kids and, like, thinking, like, Yo, hip hop is theirs, man. Man, the rap culture back in Map was so, so, so dope. I mean, guys from J Mac at the borders from joining and Orapa, mm-hmm. those were the guys like holding it down, you know? I, I mean, Bonnet, I get it because it was also subsidized, I guess, um, yeah. schooling mm. A lot of them ended up Baleku, mm. so. Mm-hmm. 
we were we were jiggy. Like, <laughs> there was no science to it. It was girls they, yeah. party. Let's do this. You yeah. know, they were like you know they were into it. They were really thinking about what they're saying. You but know? you got into like a middle lane though yes. in that regard. In that yeah, you know the lyrics were important to you. Mm -hmm. And how how do you think? Because that's how we were able to separate you from a lot of them. Yeah. Because you were just a standalone in that regard. Or how then were you able to like keep the lyrics, you know, important? You know, I, I kept on listening to my old tracks. Um, I rapped about a lot of things that I didn't have. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, like, I had a car, but I didn't have a license. So things were not making sense. Is that about from one of your things? <laughs> oh, Lord. Probably, probably. Mr. Doe. That's why I'm saying you map niggas. Mm. Foster Giuliano. You know, he used to talk about his mom's 626. Yeah. Everybody wants to hear But you know what? Then, then life just happened. You know, life happened. I moved out of the house. I'm in Pretoria. I'm in Joburg. There's so many things that are happening that I can actually talk about. Mm -hmm. Like leaving the crib, being independent, dropping out of school. Yeah. This is These are the challenges that I'm facing. I have a life also. I'm meeting a woman on the side. And this is, I'm breaking up with this woman. I'm yeah. doing this so i just thought why not just talk about the things that i'm going through on a daily yeah and people relate to that yeah, you man. know so i guess that's where i bridged my gap between like faking the rap and just being yeah. the rap you know definitely mm. it's, it's hard for a lot of people to break away from that because like um a life of privilege i mean like right now um a lot you you work with like even some of the people by know you don't expect guys who are said to be jiggy mm. to be working with a lot of the time. You have a lot of patience because sometimes there's, there's a communication barrier there. It's like, yo, man, <laughs> yeah. and you're very patient with that and working mm. with, with, with other musicians. Um, what, what about your upbringing in music makes you be able to reach out to like, um, who's that young cat, Wuli Unirwaga in last time? The, the guy, the kid you're always working with. Don um, Taga. Don Taga. Uh. Yeah, it's like, how are you able to like, from a Don Taga to like an ATI? What, what in your upbringing in music was, were you able to I like, think I think primary, primary had to do with a lot of my character because like a lot of people went to LA, Nanohang yeah. and whatever, whatever. Yeah. And I never lost touch with those people, you know. Hey. I've always been friends with friends that I, I had since primary. And also living in the barracks, yeah. I never really talked to anybody. I'm a homebound person. Yeah. I'm always at the crib. I had one friend in the barracks. <laughs> All we did was play computer games. So when I do meet people, I'm interested, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's not like there's a, there's a barrier or I think I'm different or anything. It's like, oh, wow, this person is actually like this. Yeah. Dope. Let's work. No doubt. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Mm. Because uh, that's how you get to learn and yeah, then you exactly. get to grow by yeah. actually paying attention yeah. when you meet people. Mm. Um, with the rapping, uh, did you have any crews and map? Like, how did the performing and like, how, how did you ultimately feel? Or, yo, can I think I can do this shit? Honestly, it was a joke. Like, the whole <laughs> time, it was, it was a joke. Like, I started rapping just after I finished Primary Standard 7. Mm. What um, was this at? Um... Pub up. Yes, yeah. I was with TZ. I was with a guy called Richard. I was with a guy called Gregory. We had a group called Broadway. I remember Broadway performed at Lizard Lounge yeah, once. Yeah, we had a group once. called. <laughs> we had a group called Bro. <laughs> I, I remember that before. No, it's not about it to get easy, man. I mean, come on. It yeah, nah, always, nah, it's nah, not. I mean, I, we we did our thing. I had really, really um, a good feeling about Broadway. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I mean, high school. Guys are in different high schools, so we're not really meeting up as much as we want to. I'm not rapping as much as I want to. Then I saw one of the guys come and perform at our V shows, and I had just left rap. Mm. I was like, oh, man, this guy is killing it. Hey, Who was rapping? The Tapang. Yeah. The girlies were going crazy. I'm like, ah, okay, this is the formula. This is, okay, this is what, what, what. I'm like, okay, let me do my own thing, Yeah. you know? Yeah. So I had a computer, obviously, for the computer games. Yeah. Downloaded a, um, a doll called... As a door is like a recording yeah. software. Yeah. I was recording people at our new house in block six. My dad had just retired, so we moved to block six. Yeah. So I used to have like my schoolmates come and record. My dad is wondering what is <laughs> going what on. What year is this? Girls like from three. Yeah. I, I have no idea, but I uh -huh, went from okay, three. Yeah. 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 
girls are coming in to record. My dad is wondering, yo, <laughs> how is this guy allowing like girls coming to the room? He's closing the door. What's going on? And he on? thinks this is normal. Yeah, like, Ish. And every time somebody steps into the crib, yeah. oh man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, where yeah, are you yeah. from? Before everything, I'm like, yeah. Ish. Just let's, you know, you know. Let him cook. Let him. So actually, the funny thing is, I I took engineering seriously before I I started like rapping yeah. seriously because yeah. I was just recording them. I was not really like doing my own thing. Yeah. Then I think from four, from five, um, I met up with no from six. Mm-hmm. I met up with a guy called Young Slugs. Mm-hmm. He was fresh out of. Uh, LKC was new era back then. Chipong Gun. Yeah, he used to rap. He used to yeah. rap. He had an older brother also, Billy Slugs. Mm. Dope guys. Um, I don't know how he knew I, I used to rap, but then yeah. he was like, yo, man, I know a guy called uh, BK Proctor. Yeah. Um, we can do some stuff. Um, well, well, I never took it like seriously. I just left it there. Yeah. Then I remember... Um, I need to, I need to, I need to not confuse things. Yeah. So we put out a, we actually went to BK Proctor. We put out a single called Young and Fresh. It was yeah. playing on radio. My first track on radio, actually, Young and Fresh. Keep it Young and Fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shoot. Then, um, Dumi, Dumi had a show, uh, back then. And sh- I think I approached her because there's no way she could have known me. You know? There's, there's <laughs> no way. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. let me let me make a jingle for your show. Yeah. I made a jingle for the show. So every day I'm going to school in the morning, I'm listening to my jingle. And, yeah. You know, I'm like, my, this is me. This is this is me. I get into class. They've already listened to my jingle, you yeah. know. So I'm I'm the guy. I have a track called Young and Fresh. Yeah. Second track is called I Just Got Paid. It's <laughs> you know we're doing what we're doing it we're yeah. doing it but it's not so serious still you know we're, yeah. s- we're still kids so i don't know yet if this is what i want to do yeah because it's always like yo finish school yeah what are you gonna do after school okay ish i don't want to be here i just told myself that i don't want to be in gaps i don't yeah. know why i didn't yeah. want to be in gaps yeah it's like yo i'm going to pretoria i'm gonna study a business course yeah then i'm leaving all this definitely but this is while all of this music was was playing because I remember BK got us on, on the track List Staga. Yes. Um, for for the remix. Imagine I'm and in high school. I've got Sky and Staga on the remix. On my remix. And uh, and we we were so excited because like we were always looking for next. Yeah. Because like with me and Staga, what mm. it was was that a lot of the time, um, a lot of the people that we heard coming out were not as as good as you guys. So. When you and Slugs disappeared mm. um, completely, because I think Lene, his family is very school mm, uh, mm, orientated. Mm. Um, when when you ultimately get to to, to South Africa, mm. is there plans to make the music? What now, what course were you going now for? Now here is uh, here. There were no plans to make the music. Mm. It was a business related course, but I was living with a guy called Lesang that I used to go to uh, map with in Form Six. Hey. So I, I met that guy when I was already rapping. So yeah. every every break time, he's like, "Yo, let's battle, let's battle, let's battle!" Like he's a funny guy, you know. <laughs> then I told him I was I was going to Pretoria because he was the only guy I knew in Pretoria. Ah, hey. uh, we move in together. This guy went to school with Tero in at Isa. Okay. So they were in Pretoria as well. Okay. So I met up with Tero, Tero's brother. These guys are making music and are not going to school. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> the mm, influence. You know, <laughs> I'm always at the crib. I'm mm. telling you, oh, I rap back in Mars. I rap, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They're like, yo, show me what you got, you know? Yeah. We start, I start rapping. We make... Uh, I can swear. Fuck. There's Fucking shit load of music. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm forgetting about school. Like, the exams are coming. How far know. was the, the thing from your school? Like, the crib, I think. Yo, it was far. We were taking So you ta- couldn't make the... We were taking taxis, like, yeah. all the way from Hadfield to Acadia. We were taking Damn. taxis, taxis, taxis. Then... I'm not telling my mom what's going on. Everything is, you know, up so yeah, yeah, everything is cool. <laughs> Second semester, get home, no report. It's like, what's going on? You know? And I can't tell her the truth. I'm just like, ish, I failed. I wasn't really, you know, yeah. concentrating. But then I got the courage to tell her that, yo, music 
kind of that, mu- yeah. that music bug bit yeah. me again but i'm not taking it seriously still so yeah. i drop out of up come back home i'm like maybe i need to go somewhere far so we apply for scholarships for another business course mm. at london school of business yeah. i get accepted but now the rent is too much yeah you know we need to try find funds to go and what so i'm just getting prepared i don't know how my mom is gonna find these funds yeah. i'm a kid i'm just like yo i'm gonna go do my thing yeah tell her yo let me go say bye to my guys in pretoria before i go when I go back to Pretoria, these guys are moving to Joburg. They're like, yo, we're taking this music thing seriously. Like, we have to move to Joburg. <laughs> like, Joburg? It's like, yeah. yeah, that's where it's happening. We, we went, um, I think Tower had one performance that weekend. I went to go say bye. Uh, I was at a place called Capello's. Yeah. AKA was performing there as well. Yeah. Tower was opening for AKA. So like, oh, the vibes are too much here. Yeah. The guys have upped their standard now. Upped yeah. their standard. Now I in Josie. These guys want to move to Joburg. They want to do it large. I go back home. I'm like, yo, please, may I have a gap here? What are they saying to you, though? Like, they're as like, a unit, yo, Bonamaji, you, are, you are good. Let's all let's go. Do it. Let's yeah, go yeah, together because yeah. we've been making this music together. So yeah. let's go. And they fuck with your shit. Yeah. yeah. Go back home. Another story. Ish, I need a, uh, a gap here, a gap here yeah. just to like see if this is really my path. If not, we can always go back there. Plus, we don't have the funds to, you know. Yeah, to go and pay rent. So up there. let's just, uh, um, what do you not waste time, but <laughs> <laughs> kill time, kill time. Hey, somehow, know? some way. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so with with the money I was supposed to go to LSB with, uh, we found a small place in in Joburg, Oakland Park. Uh, my mom gave me a bit of money to buy a bed. I didn't buy a bed. <laughs> I didn't buy a bed. I bought a mattress because I knew my room was going to be a studio. Yeah. So I was like, ah, this is what I'm going to do. I met up with, I used to go to school with Yao as well. Yeah. Wow, Yao was in Joburg. Yao Benham. Perfect. Yeah, man. You know, he's yeah. making music as well. He's working at these big uh, production companies. Everything is just like jelly. Yeah. That's when I knew that, okay. It's time. This yeah. is my path. How old are you at this point now? I'm probably 19, mm. 20, 19, 20. So you, 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 I wanna, you messed up on the second year, second semester. Yeah, I did. Plexum. I did. I Early went, to, I went to an accounts exam. I didn't know anything that was on the paper. Yeah, because kind of, you know what? Especially if the studio is that far, it's like you have to prioritize then. Yeah, I know what exactly do you want. Um, looking back, do you regret not finishing the business course? Oh, 50, is that- 50 50 like <laughs> right right now i i know a lot of people who are very unemployed you know what i mean yeah. so even if i did have the the degree would i have a job right now that's how i, I don't i don't i don't i don't think it's very very hard you because know? even back then whenever talking about some of the degree courses in like even bac niggas mm. they had like some level of you know mm. assurance that there's going to be a job left mm. for them but right now because i always ask that question because people you know some people regret those decisions yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, the home is now. You are able to. How do you convince your mom? Yo, I'm gonna try this music stuff. Did you play her some music? No. 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 Something very, something very drastic happened. Something very drastic happened. I had a friend, my producer. His name is Godfrey. He's from Tanzania. Yeah. So I met him in Joburg as well. Yeah. He used to school at Easter as well. Um, we hooked up with um. Some other guys, some other Nigerians there in, in Joburg. We had a studio in Joburg called CMG. Yeah. And basically, they wanted Goro to produce for them. You know what I mean? Okay. I was just like the rapper in the corner there. They didn't really want to mess with me like that, you know, because yeah. they wanted the instruments, the production, and whatever. Yeah. One day, Lanster is walking around. He's around that area. Yeah. Um, he's looking for a producer for a group called the Fly Chicks. Yeah. Um, he finds Godfrey. He's mm-hmm. like, yo, Godfrey, I need you. I need you to produce for these girls. And I need you to come to my studio. I want to sign you. Yeah. Godfrey's like, okay, I'm not going alone. I've got a rapper with me. Yeah. Uh, and God bless the producers, man. You know, he's God like, bless I've, got, the I've, got, I've got a rapper with me. So... That's the deal. Yeah. He's like, ah, fuck it. Let's do it. Bring that nigga. Bring, bring <laughs> that. Can't that nigga is fire. 
that dude is is fire so i'm letting every everybody record do that thing me and godfrey uh, do our thing uh during his spare time yeah. we're making records for those this. who don't know lance Dern is the guy who signed josie signed prophets of the city mm. signed ishmael signed dallas mm-hmm. yeah so he's he's a big deal man so what are godfrey and alan Tumbu like that mm. Yeah, so Look he's up. one of the homies that you came back with from Pretoria. Nah, I, I, found, I, I found him in Joburg, and the connection is that they went to school together. Lebo 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So everybody just like music orientated. Yeah. You know? So yeah, uh, while I'm at Motherland Ghetto Rough, we record a song called All I Do. <laughs> pa, 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 pa. Yeah, All I, I Do. do, do, do. Yes. I remember when I first heard that shit. Mm, I mm, lost mm. my mind. And it caught fire. <laughs> it caught fire. Like, in Joburg, it caught fire. Like, it's because cause of something I also said. Like, I disrespected Mini Jamini on yeah. that song. So, ish, they really, they were really going with that line, you know. I was doing interviews. What I was, was doing, the line? Tell the people the line, man. I'm just trying to put my, <laughs> and that Mini Jamini. And, and he and was and the <laughs> first one <laughs> she, who <laughs> dropped that line about Mini Jamini before Cass. For, for sure. You know, because the hell there's a lot we're gonna get into on this interview. I don't know if you're ready. Because like there's a lot of injustice that went down with this situation. But anyhow, um this track and you, you were the first one, Motswana, to actually get nominated for a metro. Yeah, for a song called Money Sex Clothes. For Money Girls. Sex Clothes. So yes. what about GQ? Uh the GQ magazine was like part of like that era, just like Lance knew the GQ guys. I think one of the artists didn't make it. He was like, yo, Weasel. Come here. No, maybe I'm moving too fast. You're moving very fast because you're asking why my mom accepted my music. Let's go back there. How? So now, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so now this all I do track is catching so much fire. Yeah. Um, I'm like, mom, this is what's happening. Now I'm on channel O. I'm on TV. Like, yo, I'm serious about this. You can mm. see that I'm serious about this. I made um, my mom come and meet Lanster. She re- researched on the guy. I thought, oh, this guy's a big guy. And the guy signed Zola for crying out loud, man. They talked, they talked, they talked. to my mom, yo, this boy is talented, you know. Yes. We want to put him under our wing and see what we can do with him. And that's when my journey started. And my mom was like, okay, you're not playing around. I'll support you. Yeah. Let's go. Jesus. So now all of this is coming together. Anyhow, if we live, still moving back a little bit. This song, how did you find the beat though? Like, who made this damn song? And Godfrey. why didn't you keep making songs with this nigga? Godfrey made the beat. The thing is, with that song, I recorded one song. Yeah. Uh, I recorded. I, I recorded the first version. Then Godfrey was like, "This is not it, bro. Yeah. Like, you need to come hard. Like, I don't know what you need to do. You need a five liter wine or something. <laughs> you, you need to come in, <laughs> come in hard. So I'm like, oh, just give me a day. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, next thing I'm like, yo, put that thing on. Yeah. While going, while going. As soon as he heard that line, he was like, that's all we needed. That's all we needed. Yeah. Let's go. Let's rock. You know what I because, mean? Because, like, you've never missed since. Like, as far as, like, um, your energy and, like, how yeah. you deliver. Yeah. Um, It's always unorthodox in that way. Mm. It was never boom bap. It's mm. never just trap. Mm. It's energy. It's music. I it's love mu- music. Yeah, you yeah. come through w- w- with all of that. And it, for me, that's where I think it started for me a lot. Yeah. When I heard um, All I Do. So with, with Lance now, mm. you're, you know, how are all of these moves of, um, is he part of? Man, I'm meeting so many different people while I'm at Lance's studio. So you guys jammed him the song. and oh, He's like, oh, this is the one. Shit, this is the <laughs> one. Oh, you know, he's making... Well, we shot a viral video. He's like, scrap that. We're going to shoot an official video. There was a black and white one or something. Yeah, yeah. before that Last one. Last day with you, see, you know? Yeah. And we shot an official video. So we're really pushing. We're really pushing this shit. Um, I'm meeting Ishmael. Ishmael is like opposite the studio I'm working with. I've got a couple of tracks with Ishmael on YouTube, you know, like yeah. we're vibing. I'm meeting new artists, but I, I'm still young, yeah. you know, I'm still young. I want so much that I, I want so much of something that I don't understand. You know, I yeah. feel like time is running out. Oh, I've got so many tracks. Why that one track? I mean, after that one track, not much is happening. What's going on? What's going on? Ish, I need to go back home. 
yeah this is me now like i'm frustrated but it's just like i'm a young man you know yeah i can't really understand what's happening and i want something to happen but i don't know how to make it happen so i choose chose to leave yep. the situation you know it's not like it was bad vibes or anything like that or nah you know the stories about lance the, nah, yeah it was never like that so you didn't you didn't lose an album Ah, <laughs> I did. You Where know. did the album go? Um, right now there are a couple of tracks that are online that were just put put up, put up. Get out! How did it go with the album? Because you know, man, I'm a conspiracy theorist. If anything, I think I blaze too much sometimes, and then I think, yo, was there any type of sabotage that happened? You know, with mm -mm. with you coming out, mm -mm. um, did people delete your shit? What mm -hmm. what happened? Nah. People didn't delete our shit. Actually, yeah. our computer crashed. And I had just recorded an All I Do remix. I had Cass on the remix. I had Quest on the remix. I had Smashes on the remix. I had Nadi and Akai on the remix. We had tried to reach out to AKA, but he said dope, but then he never brought his verse. Yeah. So we're like, ah, let's put it. We're ready to put this out. Oh, wow. Computer crashes. We've got like probably four or five tracks left that are just lingering on the internet, you know, mm. like, uh, maybe this is not what's supposed to go on right now, you know, maybe I must take another break now, probably think about going back to school, you know, yeah, for real, for real, I need to think, you know, you are 21 now, or what? I need to think I'm probably 20, 22, 22 now, yeah. This is where the question always arises, or no, because these youngsters are always going to be, because you're going to get to my age, they're going to be saying, well, ah, Vizo, you know, he had it, but he could have taken it to the States, you know, uh -huh. you know, these Swana cats are lazy. And then they also talk about, like, how we don't push hard enough. Um, that feeling when you got it, that mm -hmm. what I want to go home, do you think, Honore, is that what then kills us a lot of the time? Or we are not as hard as people who have absolutely nothing that and also i had another reason like no i just this one first <laughs> it's right here no we don't <laughs> go hard enough we don't work as hard as or you can see these guys on tv but you don't know how many hours they spend in studio why are they so good yeah but you can what? spend time in the studio yeah what is the hardness here what's can hard what's hard to stick it out because but to it's always them. Talk, like I can't I don't know. It's just maybe you're not built for it. Some people you? some people are no Ben then I felt like I wasn't built for yeah, it. And okay. I, the other reason I'm about to tell you is now I'm on a permit. I want a permit. Oh, I, I have to keep on you? jumping the border every three months just yeah. to stay. Now there's no there's no my mom is not helping me with anything. Yeah. I'm, I expect her to pay for rent and all these things. I can't. I mm. can't. I need to get my shit together. Yeah. You know? My album is not coming out. Who am I to blame? Who can I blame? Yeah. I need to go back and, and think. Now, when I go back home, I'm not even making music. music. I'm just throwing parties at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing crazy parties. Everyone knows where I live. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows where I live. Priorities. <laughs> crazy parties at the crib. And I think also th this helped like the next chapter, hey. the next stories to be told. You know hey. what I mean? So I'm back home. I was like, ah, I need to take an one more, maybe, maybe, maybe a year. Mm. Let me call Tell. I'm like, yo, Tell, I want to move back. I want to, you know. Start from scratch. I'm not. I'm not with no label anymore. I want to do everything like independently. And what I like about Sero is he told me that yo, you always have to invest in yourself. You know, yeah. buy your own equipment, buy your own mic. You know, mm. I can't always be knocking on somebody's door and say yo, are you done? Mm. I need to be. I need to wake up if I'm ready to record. I need to record yeah. like at any time. You know. Yeah. So I bought some equipment. Um, I stumbled upon some money that uh, was supposed to. Uh, engineer my next my next um project i didn't know what project that was gonna be but it was pre-visa i paid the guy neil uh ten thousand rands two years before the project came because yes. because i was still like yo i was still so lost like i didn't want to give this guy just anything you mm -hmm. know by the yeah. time the project was ready mm -hmm. the price 
went yeah. down. So yeah. it can't be 10 tracks. It has to be six or seven. Yeah. And I was like, okay, six or seven it is. Yeah. These are the tracks that I want um, to get mixed and mastered. Yeah. Um, I'm done with this year in Joburg. I had just met Ben T. Mm. Ben T's with Zen. Mm. Hollered at Ben T. I'm like, yo, Zen, I need, I need that Zen power, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I need Zen that, power for sure. I need that Zen power, bro. Because I'm, I'm, tr- I was about to ask which, which track is, is the one that because Kyo Nezaga, the one that really, really. So it was the last song. It was the last song. Yeah, and they were like, they were like, on, on Zaka, they were, I, I gave it to some guy to do the hook. Yeah. I didn't really like the hook as much. There I, was another hook. I gave it to another guy to do a hook. I didn't like that hook as much. Then me and Yao had worked on a song called Come and Go on Previsa. Yeah. It's like, yeah, man, do that, do that thing. That you do, do man. <laughs> <laughs> like, do, do that thing. <laughs> ah, he was like, yo, say less. <laughs> say less. As soon as I got that version from Yao, I'm like, yo, this is the one. And this is the day Neil has to send me uh, everything the next day. Neil is like, yo, send me the seps for the Wawa. I need yeah. to send you Wawa. Yao finishes, finishes, sending the seps for Zaka. I get it on the day it's supposed to drop. So I drop it the next day. Yeah, because you knew already because you've been listening to it. Yeah, like, you know, this is, this this is, is the this one. This is the one. And that beat, mind you, it was made by Rookie Gold. Everybody heard that beat. They don't want it. I wanted it. I was yeah, like, yo, that's that, always the case. I'm like, that bounce yeah. is crazy. No one wanted that beat. Not not inserting myself in your story, yeah. but like, as I insert myself in your story, um, my people, no one wanted it. Mm. Like, it was sitting in the studio for like two years. Mm. And like, Banty said something about Naomi also. Mm. Like, guys had an opportunity, but it always like, yes. people pass out, pass out mm. on, 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 on a really, really big jam. Mm. So you guys then get, you know, the, 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 the now, album back. Now I call Ben T, <laughs> Zen. I reach Zen out Powell. to Zen. I'm like, Zen, I've yeah. got a project. I've been working with Ben T on a couple of songs. I need your help. Yeah. I'm coming home with this project. We dropped the project. Organically, everybody loves Zaka. Yeah. That was not my single. That was not supposed to be like a single I chose or yeah. anything. Everybody just gravitated to gra- it. Yeah. Yeah. So we ran with that. Yeah. We ran with that. No, beat. that's really important. We, mm. What can you do? And honestly, that song changed my whole life. Yeah. And my whole life my whole life i'm gigging because of this song i'm meeting promoters because of this song i'm shaking hands with ministers because of zen because of this song i'm like oh this can't happen so when when did the decision to dye the hair come in zen (laughs) (laughs) zen because that was like yo these niggas who are these there was Zen. Zen yeah. always like Zen is always good with the cuts and the dying yeah, of her own all the hair, time. You know? So yeah, she had a she had a guy at Riverwalk. She's like, yo, you have a check out this guy, this guy, this guy. Dye your hair. I'm like, what color? She's like, blue. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right. There we go. We go to this guy. Next thing, my hair is blue. I'm like, I'm looking at myself. I'm like, damn, man. Really? Ah, then it worked. But me, were you really struggling though? Viso, because kind of sometimes people look at you cats uh, Lubo mm. and okay soft life or what? Mm. if this nigga is having a hard time he's able to get help with it like a crib in Joburg he's able to soft, come back soft, and live soft life how my dad is in the army my guy no we I'm are, just saying we are not... people like then look at it that way and even in the persona I mean in the in the imagery yeah yeah a lot of it um, people then say ah, Malik you know so, I would understand that if if my mom bought my equipment and said, yo, here are speakers, here, what, what, yeah. what, what, what. I made money. I bought my own equipment. I record my myself. Like, yeah. I'm taking initiative. I'm investing in myself. I am not asking for help. Yeah. Because already, this, they don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> <You've>, <laughs> already, they don't want to hear it. So I'm now, I'm like, okay, I need. So I've got uncles who 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 be like, okay, I don't want to hear it. What, yeah. what, 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 what. There's nothing soft about it. You yeah. know what I mean? There's nothing soft about it. You just have to go and do it. And I'm doing it. Like everybody who comes to the studio, you can see that I've taught myself everything that I need to know about the studio. You yeah. know? 
Um, the thing is with with so many performances now. Mm. Um, are you able to to tell anyone coming in how you guys were able to establish how to charge? No, Zen helped me with all that thing. You know, Zen was like, okay, this is you know, we're, we're charging these people this amount. Okay, now maybe if we add a band, we're gonna charge higher. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. I know nothing about. I knew nothing about the music business. I just knew I'm giving her twenty percent. Cause she's a manager. Yeah, but with the charging, I just know that okay. If you bring more dancers, if you bring a band, if you make it like different, yeah, your worth goes up. Definitely. You know what I mean? Because like with a, a, a lot of people who were coming in when you and Ben T were just dominating, yeah, w- fell by the wayside. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, what is it about like how you guys approach business? Is different from like how your peers were approaching it, um, because like I'll give an example with my my young homie Ozzy, mm. who's definitely just kicking too much ass right mm. now. Mm. He mm. he's got the recipe right now. Mm. Um, you guys were coming up around at the same time, or maybe yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Um, it, it, you know, he has like a more fluctuating up and down type yeah. situation. Mm. You know, when the downs are down, they're really down, mm. and when the ups are up, mm. but they never really get all the way up up where. Mm. As as a rapper's rapper, we feel like he mm. should be at. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Um, I, um, there's a couple of others, but I'll use Ozzy because he's, you know he's my bro. Yeah, yeah. What do you think you guys were able to do differently? I think I think just the power of us being together yeah. helped. You know, we're pushing each other. When he's down, he's picking me up. When yeah. I'm down, he's picking me up. You know, if if I was alone. I, pro- I probably would have been fluctuating as well, man, because yeah, yeah. shit happens. It's life. You know, yeah. people go through things, yeah. you know. But we were able to tag team and just say, okay, we're going to be consistent about this. Yeah. Let's not stop. Let's let's keep the formula going, you know. Yeah. And our chemistry kept on growing as we made tracks, you know. Mm-hmm. We kept on going and going. I don't even know when Shine Forever came out. Like, yeah. after that. Well, like yo, we have we can't stop. Yeah, we have to keep on going. So yeah. I guess it's just a mental thing, you know. Yeah. Togetherness, mm. and then is that POV came through? How long after Previsa? At the POV came, Previsa came out in end of 2016. Yeah, P- yeah, POV came out 2019. Hey, hey. Yeah. all right. So this is possibly one of the dopest projects to ever come out of BW. Yeah. Now at this point, what are we trying to do? Right now, at this point, I have just left Zen. Hey. Yeah, before people. What me. happened there? <laughs> nah, no, no, no. Um, honestly, it's 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 me trying to trying to go back to SA again. Yeah, oh Lord. Hey. It's me trying to go back to SA again. I'm trying to spread my wings. I'm trying to go international. You know, I have a friend called Bash who was who's a manager, who who was helping out Nadia. Is like, yo, I can help you. A bit, you know, where I can, you know. The same bash who was working with Casper. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Okay. He went to Map as well. No way. I swear to God. Bash went to Map. Mm. Oh, whoa. Crazy. Yeah, Cass right? has got like. I mean, Lita Ribo was from Gabs as well. You mm. know what I mean? I'm mm. Spike. Mm. Do you know? So Damn. he helped me out where he could, and this time I had an I had an uncle who was building um, a lodge. No one was staying there. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, let me go chill there for a bit, make yeah. my music there. Um, that's when um, Cas- I made Casanova right before I left. I made um, doing the most uh, with Gemini. Yeah. Bash made that happen. Yeah. So Casanova and Gemini came out of that. Don't forget Cream, my nigga. And Cream. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That was that period. I made I made that that music during that period. Probably it's what, 2018, before 2019? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I told Zen, I'm like, yo, I just need to spread my wings. You're still like, please help me where you can when I'm home. And she was like, all right, dope. I'll support you. Yeah. You know, she always still supports me Definitely. to this day. And then she's always been good people. So what did you do differently as opposed to our uh, pre-visa in this time around? This time around, I, I, I told myself I was making a project. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't just making random tracks and selecting. I was like, yo, I'm making a project. This is going to be my debut album. My debut album was supposed to be called Visa. I'm like, mm. <laughs> nah, let me. I'm gonna leave that for the big one. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. let's do uh, my point of view. And that was like 
my point of view at that time, leaving the Zaka uh, hype, parting ways with Zen, I have a different point of view now. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is this is the new Viso view. view. Yes. And, and that's what I was trying to go at because yeah. how easy was it for you to even do a name that's so close to like the biggest artist in, mm. in BW at mm. the time. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't easy. Mm. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. Pe- people call me V still. Like, oh, my PZ. <laughs> like, oh, that's Young PZ. <laughs> Young PZ. You know I mean? <laughs> but, you know, Vizo is just a nickname my boys gave gave me. Then yeah. when Instagram started, I needed a handle. Really? So it was Vizo's View. And yeah. I'm like, actually, Vizo View. Yeah. It makes sense. Double V. I, I, I love that completely. So you also got a feature yeah. from ATI. How yes. did that come about? Uh, I've always known ATI since since high school. Yes, yeah. I've always known ATI. I met him once at, at he was recording with Ben T. He was recording Hillele with Ben T. Hey. Came through. I was like, yo, long time, man. Yeah. You good? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I've got a, and me and Ben T live like, like across each other, like only a football field like separates the crib. So oh. like you know, I got my own studio, right? Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like for real, if you wanna come record, holler at me. Yeah. Ah, he came with, uh, Skababa Wari. He's like, yo, I wanna finish this track. I wanna yeah. feature you on this track and whatever. There was already the first verse and whatever. I'm like, ah, let's go. Yeah. Let's let's see what we can do. But before that, actually. He brought that track, then we worked on it, then we left it, then we made a song called Caesar to Caesar. That was yeah. that. That's the one that came out before Scar Hey, yeah. I remember that one also. And you know, like every every, it's like every person I meet, like this chemistry because yeah. we get to know each other. He's a smart man. You Definitely, know what I mean? very smart man. I like the way he writes. I like the way he tells these stories. Of yeah. like, you know. Then we just ended up making songs on songs and songs. We could we could probably drop a tape. Def- why some. don't you then guys i'm waiting for him to drop his album hey, hey okay yeah. I'm, i, I want to talk about some of the people that i literally I, I think started knowing of because they made music with you yeah. i mean i think we can start with someone who's very very um important right now to yeah. a lot of the music and also you know he just dropped a, a beautiful track uh well a beautiful project with um hensi mm. and priscilla um, flex. flex the ninja yeah, yeah yeah how did you get to meet flex, flex like how did you guys get together ninja uh, this goes back to how 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 we learned to charge. I like, know we have to uh, incorporate dancers. Yeah. So he was in a group no called um, Urban Empire. He was a dancer. He was. Yeah. He was part of a group called Urban Empire. So me and Benti needed dancers for a show, and Marwapula. So we called him and uh, Mix. Okay. So um, that's when I met Flex. He was just. Um, he was a dancer. These guys are giving us contracts. I'm like, hey, these guys are giving us contracts. <laughs> They're like, yo, you guys have to sign this to make sure. What, what, what. I'm like, yeah. okay, these guys are serious guys. So now Flex pulls me to the side. He's like, you know, I make beats, right? Yeah. And I'm like, ah, yeah, okay. You know, because there are so many guys who make beats. Yeah. You know? He sent me like uh, a pack. He sent me three beats. And the Casanova beat was one of the beats he first sent me. <laughs> I was like, ah, it's late. So no one knew of him before no then? No one. No, people knew that he made beats, but they were not taking it seriously. How easy is it then to, like, get beats off, like, just random cats off the street? Because I know, it's easy. you know, there, you there always lot, definitely... There are a lot, lot of, of cats, cats making are. beats, man. Yeah. They're sending them on WhatsApp. They're sending them via email. They're sending them via... Any, there are a lot of people making Then why do you think, though, like, they think that it's so hard for anyone else to blow up? Because, like, they feel like there's this glass ceiling for like there'll always be a sky there'll always be a v it's like why won't you let us shine it's like nigga we ain't doing none of that why do you why do you think some of them are lacking in trying to like break break through like that you know flex is him right now yes he is On, him i believe i believe in god's timing and i feel I like mean, even amo beats yes i believe grammy in, nominated now you know I believe in God's timing because oh, Flex signed in the States now. <laughs> you see? God's timing. And nah, these are like and that. these are guys who've been putting in the work. Yeah. Even when people didn't know them, they're still putting in the work, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's not they're not they're not um 
demoralized because hey this guy doesn't want my beat okay we've got at least we've got visa like yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. i believe i believe in you bro like i keep telling you you are the best yeah you know what i mean not me and i believe in god's timing this year is flex's year after how long yeah you know what i mean but I've her. always seen him with you, like even at like corporate events and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I think it says something about him too. Mm. Um, or he's paying attention. Yes. Um, or not, okay, Brian wants the best for me, and also he doesn't drink. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well now he does. Ah, come on. Sorry. <laughs> Which girl did it? Because you know, it can't be nah, nah. Bad. But he doesn't. He's, he takes it easy. He's not like that's us. how. No, nah, nah, nah. Tell he, him to stop it. He's not like me. Stop it. He no. takes. He takes it. I think one Flex. glass. Stop it. Is enough. No. Yeah. No. I get you, man. Like I'm gonna do brass. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say who's who. I'm gonna say can. But I don't wanna write the thing. Yeah, la. No, we put our own la. No, we write it. Oh my days. Oh my days. It's dangerous. It's dangerous as hell. Um, I want to talk more about your name, POV. You know. Yeah. Um, it was supposed to be. Now we're getting our, 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 our footing back into SA. Yes. Um, were you able to get help? Like, what, how, you, how did it go? Do you know what I liked about that phase? Like, yeah, uh, Beshlo helped me a lot, you know, like getting, even getting that feature with Gemini, you know. Yeah. Then we shot with. Uh, One of the most dog. Yeah. We, the video. You know, we shot with Nate Thomas. That's another good friend of mine. I think that period was not me necessarily moving back and just needed to get out of the throwing party phase yeah, yeah. doing like nonsense what the fuck home. was happening at those parties my guys yep. I've, I, I pride myself in never having been to those parties because the time um, the brats did my age but that lady gay were call, calling welders in the morning the mom is coming she's only finding about this right now <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> it's a no. Do it. It's a, what, what 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 went down? It's a mess. It's a mess. I just knew people who knew people, and they would invite other people. You know what I mean. So at this point, were you on your own in the crib at the time? I'm definitely on my own. Yeah. So I'm, at, oh I'm doing goodness. I'm doing crazy crazy stuff. So, so now deja vu is an example of what used to happen in those parties. You have. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what really came to my Good mind. Job. Hey. Yes. Oh Lord. <laughs> but what good came out of the parties? Just like, you know, you need to you need a touch fire to know that it <laughs> <laughs> it burns. Hey. You know what I mean? Like now I know, no, don't do this. Act the certain so give way. Give us some of like, the examples I mean, of I mean, some stuff that you had to overcome, you know? Because like you know, bad stuff helps. I you. left I met a lot of people that I don't talk to right now like i met a lot of characters i met a lot of people using me because they knew that ish this guy would be you yeah. want to come through to the part Kore, i met a lot of funny people and the good that came out of this is i became a better judge of character like i'm meeting okay. so many people like, yeah, how, how hard is it for you not to be used i mean a homie of mine was telling me the other day um about when i went on some people barata muriti waga wabon is like just to be under, you know, and then immediately after they get what they want, they bounce. You know, um, it's very hard now. Like I'm older now, I don't take bullshit. Like <laughs> I can't have somebody who's not doing anything around me around me. Yeah. I can't be losing money because I'm paying somebody not doing anything around me. Yeah, I'm. Um, I've I've lived life. Like, yeah. I'm not I, I don't want bullshit. I don't want to bullshit you. So Yeah. I can't be used right now. But when, when it comes to the hearts, because I saw you on Juice 2.0. Mm. Uh, um are you I'm pretty going steady with anyone. I don't know if that type of word can be used. Yeah. Are you having any girlfriends at this point? Like at which someone point? that you are with. At now currently then as you were moving along. Yeah, a couple. Okay. And like, like, what did you learn from that experience about, you know, um, being a, a well-known rapper um, and, and, and having, um, a, you know, a significant other? You know, being a rapper and having a significant other is very hard, man. Yeah. It's very, very hard because you don't want them following you to every show. <laughs> <laughs> now you're giving opinions about... <laughs> <laughs> the verse, the bars, <laughs> like oh, now God. you know, ish. Hey. It's, it's it's very hard. I believe, like I learned that, 
you need patience like with a woman you just need patience you hey. know? even whether you're a rapper or not they mean no harm hey. rona as rappers are always like hey, she defense mode oh you don't like this i gotta cut you off hey. oh you don't like hey, this i gotta but, yeah but then is it you know are all rappers promiscuous i mean would you call yourself no, a man. faithful guy yes never cheated on any of my girlfriends Negro, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for real <laughs> Come on If I'm single, I'm single But then why do you think it's so hard? Do they really believe you though? Because they're with me all the time All the time <laughs> <laughs> Because I find it like really, really hard Because like, okay they never believed me. <laughs> like, at all. Like, I always felt, Honorable, the name, just being titled as a rapper made you automatically, you know, known for you are unfaithful. I mean, is mm. it because of the company you keep? or? Okay, okay, is, okay. Hey. I made one mistake. There's a girl ah. who can call me out, but I made one, <laughs> one mistake. <laughs> one mistake. That was my first girlfriend. I hey. made one mistake, yeah. And, um, ish. What type of mistake? You slipped? I was with friends that influenced me yeah, to yeah. just party hard and just forget that she was around. You know yeah. what I mean? And I'm sorry for that one. You're more, um, you're more. I don't know if no, your most celebrated re- relationship is is the one that you recently had. Yeah. Um, with the young lady. Yeah, um, yeah. In the interview with. Yeah. Yeah, you guys seem to be vibing. Yeah, yeah. Nice enough. Um, are you? In currently in any type of relationships right now. The nigga, people people want to know. People just want to know. Whatever. Baby, I think I'm going to tell you. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, get out of the shade, I mean... Ay, ay, ay. Biscay and Ruby Shea. You mm. can have it with ginger ale. It's you know. nice, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, we should actually get a shot glass. So it's, I need to start like with. Um, no, I'm not. Why I'm not, not seeing anybody seriously right but now. Why not? Like you are a, a handsome young man. You keep yourself well together. You're in the gym. You've been quitting all that, kinds of, you know, vices mm, recently. Mm. Is this by choice? It's by choice. Yeah. Why? Um, but I want to be healthy. I want to live a long life. No, not that. Like I'm saying, oh. not being with the heart. <laughs> is it by choice or is it because about her daily? I wouldn't say about hurdy, but I'm not like I'm not ready for that. Like I know what it takes to be in a relationship. I've been in my relationships last like two years, two and a half years. Yeah, but dog, do you think that people are gonna wait? Yeah, if if you're meant to be with me, I guess you are waiting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but do you care about body counts though? A girl's body count. Yeah, a girl's body count. I'd be very crazy to care about that. So you're not the type to ask, like, how no. many niggas you been with? Just nah. like 40. Because if she asks the same question, I can't answer. Yeah, no. What do you think about people who care about shit like that? Yeah, insecure. That is easy for niggas to be here in front of cameras. I'm not saying you specifically. <laughs> you are insecure. <laughs> like <laughs> For niggas to be saying stuff on what, like, uh, nah, I can't what, do it. what so is her matter. body So it doesn't gonna... matter to you how many people a girl has been with? No. Okay. But I'm not going to go for... The girl, everybody's saying it would be so kind of... Because you care. Nah, 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 nah. But it's because you care. Is it? No, I won't be with that girl. Like, if I meet a random girl and I like her and there hasn't been any story about her. Not that... I mean, there's a story about everybody. Yeah. But I'm not going to be like... you haven't heard. I'm going to be like, yo, what's your body count? <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, no, Majita out here, man. But it's all you know, bana bana le bana. And I think, sorry, <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. Oh no, I, 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 I refrain because Majita is the cure blind the mo 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 And I always because like you are liked by a whole lot of really, really amazingly beautiful women, including. Niggas, um, sorry to say, wet dreams mm. um, on IG and all of that. Mm. So I have to ask you this stuff. You, 
They're always out here fighting with girls. I don't have a race. I don't. Race. I don't. I don't. Like, how do niggas keep a cool demeanor, but also, you know, invoke some, don't fuck with me? What do they call it? <laughs> What's that energy? Yeah. yeah. Big D. <laughs> how do you? <laughs> no DD. No DD, yeah. <laughs> like, how do you, how do you exude big dick energy? No, I'm just a confident person, man. Like, I, I, I really believe in myself. As much as I'm quiet, I'm confident. Like, my that adds to it also. Yeah, like my confidence. Because I'm know? a blabbermouth, so I'm really mm. trying to get, like, that mm. shit going. I, yeah, guess it's the co- I guess it's the confidence. I don't think it's game or anything because yeah. I don't have game like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Man. I'm telling you. Okay, so I, I want to get back to the music. Yeah, you, yeah. Because... Um, see, these are uh, yeah because the biscuit is getting to me. I want to get to the ones that I really wanted to get to as well. Cool. Um, including things like Bonebo. When people like Bukas Panyovest get on Twitter and start saying Wanawari, they have expressed desires of collaborating with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the phone call never comes through, and it's mm. made so public and stuff. Yeah. How does that stuff make you feel? I totally get it. Like I totally get it. There are a lot of people who want who want to make music with me. I just don't have the time to make music <laughs> with them. No, seriously, I totally get it. You can't, you can't please everybody. So did he? Okay. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Okay. You can't, you can't really please everybody. I did send him some records. He might have not been in the zone for those records yeah. that time, you know. And I totally get it. Like, which time was this? Was he doing piano at the time or what? No, 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 no. He wasn't. But which time? Why do you feel it was a specific, like a time, yeah, a different type of vibe? I don't know what you know how to judge vibes. I don't know what I'm saying. He might have been in his own zone. He had just dropped, um, what's that album? Is it Refilu? Okay, the big one where he's the luxury, the luxury, you know, he's the ball, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I, 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 he, I don't think he was in that mental state for that. Cause my it was like yeah. you know, <laughs> let's get this party jumping. Yeah, you know what jumping, I mean. Yeah. So I get it. I really get it. There, there are a lot of artists who can send me like a verse, an empty verse. Then I only record it like a year later, because uh-huh. I got into that zone. I'm like, oh, this song is actually. Let me. Yeah. You know, I'll I'll hit them up. If you release the song, yeah. If you haven't, let's do it. You yeah. know what I mean. So I guess he was not in that zone, but. I do believe that he would work with me. Definitely. So it yeah. doesn't make you feel any type of way. Though. No, it doesn't. At all? No. Hey, Ronaba, what about the home? Because Ronaba, why chest that one? Or ah, no. you no. know. And then, um, nice to see. Yeah. What excuse do you have for that not happening? I've because never, I, I've, 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 I've never, I've never approached Nasty C. But had he expressed, according to our thing, on collaborating with. Um, well, had the local artist, these of you and yeah. uh, William last Look, uh, as some of these artists he'd like to work with. How do you feel about people throwing around your name like I that? Think, I, mean, I think if you're going to have somebody come to a country that they are not used to and you're going to ask about artists in the country, you're like, yo, which local artist would you want to collaborate with? Obviously, they've done that research. You know, they're like, yeah. okay, Vizo's popping in Botswana. Let me, you know, not that they have actually said anything. But how do you feel about that when people are throwing around your names to get I'm essentially like, clout? I'm like, I, I, you see me at least. <laughs> you see me. You're a better man, dog. You um, know, there's, um, I don't want to have <laughs> sleepless nights. Like, I mean, why no, am I having I, I sleepless know. nights? No, I was at church yesterday. They were talking mm. about forgiveness, mm. about, like, why you should forgive. Mm. And they talk, talked about, like, you know, if you take offense, sometimes... It's just you taking offense. Exactly. And someone really probably doesn't even know that they offended you. Exactly. And when you are running around with the offense. Yeah. So if you just let it go, your life will be much easier. Why well, you are more that's why there's a cross over there. What is that? <laughs> this is waps. It's just It um, looks chechonyana though. You can tell it. Jiggish Checho. Is there some Jiggish Checho going on there? Yeah. One of you see CSA, yeah, I, can see a, I see a young dog. We're going to take a picture for the people. It looks fly, though. Um, you and, um, and Ben T. Yeah. OTV. Yeah. 
Does it come after POV? Before. It was before. Yeah. Damn. OTV one before POV. Yeah. So you guys realize, like, this guy lives down the street. So that's when you guys started making records. Exactly, yeah. And then you released it. Is that when you Because we were making a bunch of, like, tracks. Yeah. And then we're just like, oh, let's make a, you know, let's make a joint project. And then is that when you get, you guys, when do you get back with Zen? And then you guys are able then to, because I I think you guys were performing like crazy. I think maybe keep sitting moving to go pay, but it's after. Mm. I want to talk about Bot 50. How did you guys get in, in, in touch with that one? Because not a lot of people were, were able to, to break into that as well. Zen. Management, bro. huh? Zen, yeah. Zen. <laughs> Zen power. Like yeah, she, I don't know. she knows a lot of people. She's knocking on every door. She's not stopping. It's like, I've got these two boys. This is what's going to happen. Yeah. You know? So Zen made that happen. We talked to Ben T about um, you guys then ultimately not seeing eye to eye before yeah. OTV came through. Yeah. Um, OTV 2 came through. Mm. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. It's like, I don't want to say I saw something like that ultimately happening because of camps and stuff. Mm. But like, unfortunately, I did a little bit. Mm. Why? Why did it happen? Like from according to you, though. So now OTV, the first OTV is done. Yeah. So now we're concentrating on our own uh, we're in our own lanes. We've got our own different camps. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there'll be always one guy <laughs> saying, hey, Shibad, why don't you guys, you know, push this narrative of, like, beef just for the next records and stuff like yeah. that. So while other people are pushing that red narrative, I think it goes into somebody's mind. Now every every record I hear, you will think you're getting dissed or yeah. something. Yeah. I'm like, ah. <laughs> what's going on here so now I'm also putting out songs and he's feeling away he's like hey, where are you though taking I think 2020 freestyle yeah that's when it was just like nah this guy's coming at me this guy's coming at me <laughs> but I like to generalize thing like if if the shoe fits you know what I mean you know what I mean so now different camps is just like now he's not replying my texts it's late, what, what, I can see. The other guys that are looking at me funny. I'm like, ah, actually. <laughs> now they're releasing on my birthday. I always <laughs> release on my birthday. Now they've got three videos for me on my birthday. It starts, it starts in the morning, 12 noon. Then the day I dropped Deja Vu. I had, I had one song, one video. They're releasing three for me. No one is saying anything. I don't know one is saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, all right. I'm like, all right, cool. Okay. So we don't speak for months, and I think it's just, it's also a rap thing, like, yeah. uh, ego. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, it's like, 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 Everybody wants to be number one, you know. I want to be number one too. Benti wants to be number one. People in that camps want Benti to be number one, so yeah. don't fuck with Vizo. Yeah, finish Vizo. People in my camp are like, okay, Benti wants the smoke, give mm. him the smoke. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I, I just said with myself, <clears throat> months passed. It's like, nah, mm. I miss my little bro. Let me give him a call, actually, yeah. just to find out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I gave him a call. He came to my house the next day. We hashed things out. Yeah. You know, just understood that, yo, sometimes you don't have to listen to everybody around you. Yeah. You know? They might not give you the best advice. They might just lead you in the wrong direction. Yeah. Just for clout. Yeah. You know? Damn, dog. And, you know, a lot of people never really sometimes come back from that. Like, I remember, because we were really closely working with, yeah. uh, with Aura. Yeah. Uh, with Oracle. Yeah. And even then, I saw it happen. Yeah. I saw dudes from his camp, you know. Yeah. The okay, no no disrespect. The miracle yeah. lyrical niggas. Yeah. Um, they were <laughs> on his case yeah. about messing with this jiggy nigga. Yeah, oh, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think sometimes what I heard in his corner, the problem is when you start listening to them. Yes. And we never really got to sit down and ultimately get together and be mm. okay mm. with each other. How mm. did you guys manage? To like Man. at least at least have like um a power of some sort. Yeah. Here you are, you picked up the phone and talked to him. But mm. like some niggas never pick up the phone. 
Yeah, man. I don't. He at least he answered. You know what I mean? Hey, like, at least, he answered, at yeah. least he answered. Came to my house. We talked about it. We agreed. Okay, this is how I'm moving now. Yeah. You know, we do have different camps, but now we are aware of different people in the camps yeah. or or what. They it might be good. It might be good to them. Yeah. But it might be like it might hurt me at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So discuss a couple of things before, you know. Yeah. Let's not make it awkward. What do we do with um, you know, because there's a lot of girls flying around in this business you know the pillow lot, talking now well pillow talk yeah. you know how do we deal with that because like i remember when i was younger that was a major major problem with a lot of why niggas fought each other mm. it was because you know someone went and told a girl right. what, something. what you were saying when you were lit you're like oh yeah. actually this like nigga is not that hot shit, yeah. you know ah. yeah. and then she tells Saul. yeah hey Different. I, actually, that's happened to me before, but not with Ben T. Eh. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> with a guy that I don't speak to. Next thing he's texting me the next day about something random. I'm like, what does this guy know? Eh. You know what I mean? Like, what does this guy know? And that happens. Like, you you need to be very careful what you're saying when you're drinking eh. and who you're with. Cause yeah, yeah. yo, <laughs> that's, no. But, we keep it moving because like I'm saying, man, a lot of the things that I've seen cause distress between brothers is usually they money get, yeah, or, the girls. Or, or pillow talk, yeah. you know, and some of it never ends well. Mm. And I'm just happy like you guys were able to find like a middle ground. Definitely. OTV too. Yeah. Am I moving too fast here? Nah, we're kicking it. No, because like you're a very private nigga and yeah. I'm really trying to get to. Yeah. To like some of the things that people don't know about yeah, you. Yeah. A lot of the music has been documented, mm. but like for some people, by want to make music as mm. good and as consistently mm. as you. Mm. I think this is also good, but I'm looking for something for the room among us too. Mm. I keep failing because you're impenetrable. No Diddy. <laughs> like how do you keep it tight like that? No Diddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like how, Papa? I just like, mind you are completely. I just mind my business. Teflon, like, mm. honestly, I just mind my business. You don't, you're not out here. Uh huh. Uh-huh. So, because a lot of dudes, uh, more, more, more music industry, I don't know, fall off because of, you know, promiscuity, and I, I can believe you, Gore. Mm. You are not out here, you know, mm. slanging schlong. <laughs> <laughs> you are not out here. Oh, but, um, how do you stop yourself? Like, it is, it, it is easy. Do you? Is it your family? Is it how you're raised? How? Why do you think it's so easy for some niggas to get caught up? You know, because well, there's so many women and there's so much liquor. There's so much weed around. When, no, you know I'm going back there. When, Have when, you seen these parties that these niggas throw? The thing is, when 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 we when I do go out, <laughs> I do go all out, you know. But I'm a homebound person. Hey. I guess it stems from me growing up in the different barracks, you know, because hey. I was just alone. I had one friend, you know. Yeah. And I'm used to being alone. It doesn't scare me if people say, "Yo, I'm with Deja," I'm like, "Alright, cool." Yeah, yeah. it's fine I can go there next week we'll turn up and when we turn up we turn up but yeah. I can't be I don't want to be seen too much also yeah. <laughs> so I'm like I don't want to be seen too much so I just keep to myself yeah yeah. cool stuff Bob because like I'm always wondering like how you're able to like keep such a cool head in such situations yeah Um, I also want to get into um how you guys ultimately come back to doing to OT, okay. um, uh, OTV2. But before then, mm. um, everyone looks at your relationship with Tsego and yeah, all yeah. of these South African people. Yeah, yeah. Um, they always feel like someone can pick up the phone and just say, yo, like they do in B-Dub. Hey, Ska, hey, get a code, peanuts in one. Tell me I'm not going to see you in the street. They'll ask them, why Tsego is not going to see you in the street? I'm not going to see you in the street. Ish, I've uh, I've tried I've tried to get to on on one song that we recorded and it was supposed to be on POV. It's called um, what is it called? Something City, Matt, Wild in the City. Wild in the City. Yes. Now the thing is, 
like Tor was a perfectionist as well, you know. So he wanted to mix the thing again, and and he's kind of slow. But kinda, is he mixing the vocal? He mixing the vocal, the mixing what, the snare, the, everything, ah, yeah, everything, man. you know. Ah, so so it's... now I'm rushing somebody who takes that time. Okay, you can't do that. Nah, it's mm. never gonna happen. You know God, what I mean? It's not coming. It's not coming. It, he has to be like comfortable also in his setting and what what. I'm like yo, I'm nah. I need this dog. No, so since then, I'm like I'm not calling these motherfuckers for any anything. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna if anything happens, I need to be just there. Like yo, let's make the song right there and there. Let me pull up on you. Let me do this. Let me do this. No calling. Niggas have lives. Niggas have. Daughters, niggas mm-hmm. have wives, niggas like me sing, sing in the industry. Yeah. Now he's going through his own shit, you know. Now yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm adding to the baggage. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. You don't want to. No, be that thank guy. you. Yeah, no, thank we gotta, you. we gotta build that muscle. You like know, a lot of us have on our So quality. I'm building my muscle at mm-hmm. home. So when I go, when I go there, I'm, I'm as equal, and Perfect. I can just be like, yo. This is Vizo from Botswana. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is not Vizo, your friend who needs help. Yeah. Nah, this is Vizo from Botswana, one of the best rappers from the country. Yeah. Let's make a song. Let's see how we can better the situation. Hey man, it always feels like I applaud you for that, but it always mm. feels like a, a hard battle. So I never know how you guys are able to handle it. Like it's 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 made me crazy. Mm. Cuckoo. Okay. Mm. Um, we continue. Uh, I I, I want to talk more about like. Um, you know your your collaborations with like William, yeah, yeah, and um, you know, Lele is is amazing, dog. Yeah. How how then do you get a guy like William who doesn't really talk to a lot of people? You know, I, I can see he considers you a confidant also. Mm, yeah. Um, how how you how is that relationship? How did that come together? Um, William has recorded a couple of songs at my studio. Mm-hmm. Like um, I remember, he recorded um, the Dato Seiko one at my studio, mm-hmm. and sometimes he'd call up and be like, "Yo, can I? You wanna? I've got this song put on a verse and what, 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 what? Yeah. I do that, I do that." So the Mpulele time was my turn. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I recorded this joint, and I had made a couple of tracks with William. Mm-hmm. Um, the one with ATI, Nagena Lady Baharana. <laughs> from that album yeah. I just come out and I'm like I like this guy's flow yeah I need this guy's flow on this on yeah. this joint so I ho- I held on to that joint I sent it to everybody in the team I'm like yo this one needs a feature mm. but I'm not telling them who I'm thinking yeah you know I was like yo I'm gonna highlight William William is gonna kill this this shit yeah. send William um the verse and the hook i don't want to send guys verses yeah, I, any- <laughs> I don't want to send guys verses anymore because they come he's a culprit twice they come and finish me on my own song so now you're just getting the hooks so why are you doing this to yourself i'm not you send the verse and the chorus and it's like we heard you so, and then you go and get harder because william came off i was like this i was like I've never heard him come that hard. I was well, like, yo, no Didi. I was like, I've never heard him come that hard. I was like, yo, this is this is it. He totally yes! killed that verse. Ah, I was like, oh my Ooh. days. I was like, oh my days. And also, I think the production also brought up another yeah. side in him. You know what I mean? Yeah, but sometimes I don't know if it's your your way of recording. Mm. Yeah, because let's go about our Adi. Even the harmonies mm. and even the choo, 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 mm, mm, mm. like how you pause it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, no, I was going in there. Dog. Like there there it's mostly my engineering there. Like yeah. I, I am not even worried about my verse. Like my verse is my verse. Yeah, you've already I'm done trying that. to make the song, you know, sound like So why don't they ever come back again? Or when are you don't do engineering? For engineering purposes no, and I mixing still, I, and stuff. I still work with ATI. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did I did Stima Mullo. I did Lipoi, I did Skababa Wara. Because he knows better. <laughs> you know what I mean? I still, I still work with, with my G. Yeah, mm. because like the way you mix him, 
Mm. I don't know, man. Like, I've never heard him sound like that. And like I'm saying, even William, he drops like some really dope jams. Mm. But that Mpulele verse? Ah, uh, it was too much. So do you think people step it up? I know I do. Do you think people step it up when they... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys do, but you're doing me dirty. That's what you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you know, my tata, I'm a motor dog. It's just hard. You can't just walk in there, you know? Um, mm. I want to talk about, like, South African um, artist treatment, especially yeah. because they're your peers. Yeah. Treatment when we are in Botswana. Yeah. I remember a time we were at a St. Louis Lager event. Mm. <laughs> I was pissed. Um, because, like, but Vizo being humble as he is at one point, you guys walked. I think you went to 10 Taba Fana Bali. Do, you know, do you know Do you know that the sound shut down on my set twice? Three times at that show. I was telling Zen I want to go home. I was the opening at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. Sound is shutting down. Tweet. <sighs> Come back. Generators. Call Viso. Tweet. I went to the car, closed the door. I'm in the car. I'm like, I don't want to do this shit. Yeah. There's somebody out there trying to sabotage me, actually. On purpose. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah. I don't want to do this shit. Zen is like, view. <laughs> get your butt <laughs> on the stage. He's like, get on stage, my guy. Get on stage. I do my whole set. Um, what I don't like about the treatment with the international artists is we are we are given like local brands to drink only. Yeah. They have wines. They've got Hennessy. They've got what? They've got what? They've got this. They've Someone's got, gonna say technical. You know, right. actually, we are even sitting in a different section. Yeah. They have their own sections. Isn't the point of bringing these guys here to meet us and we connect and we network? Yeah. Now, I had met Nesty C before yeah. through Gemini. Yeah. Yeah, he pulled a prank on me once. Like, mm. he, you know, he's a funny guy. You know? <laughs> so he saw Shut Scar up Malawi, man. <laughs> so he saw, he saw Scar. Nesty saw a friend of mine called Scar. Yeah. And he remembered him from Joburg. He's like, yeah, hey, I know this guy. He's like, yo, where do I remember you from? He's like, yo, I'm Vizo's friend. He's like, yo, where's Vizo? Yeah. They went to call me from the other section. Yeah. I came to chill with Nancy. I'm seeing Jaeger, wine. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you yeah. drinking this thing? He's like, nah, we're well, about to leave, actually. You can have all this shit. And I'm like, uh, ah. Ah, come on. I'm so here. what was so hard about giving us this in the first place like i don't understand the treatment and also like the the difference in pay is ridiculous yeah, yeah it's ridiculous why are we getting this amount and they are getting that amount is it obviously i understand to a certain extent because that reach is way, yeah, is way yeah. bigger yeah but at least make us look good in front of them yeah you know that's the least they can do yeah Make us look good in front of them. So how? Why is that never demod demoralized you? I know when or you could care less. You are there for what you're there for, and then you bounce. Have you ever had an experience where you are being told, "Hey, hey, 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 Zonka, Zonka"? Too many times. Cause now I never stay long enough because I know too many times. The thing is, give me, us one. Me and my guys, <laughs> we like to stay because we're finishing the ride. We gotta finish the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> we're finish. We're, like we actually forgotten why at the show. Yeah. It's, as me and my boys, we're having a good time. You yeah, know what I mean. Really we don't think too much about it. We even forgot that the sound went. It's yeah, a joke yeah, yeah. now. You know what I mean. Um. I just, I really don't think much about a lot of negative shit. I feel you, Papa. To be honest. Like, I, it yeah. comes, it goes, and I'm like, you know what? This happened. Let, what me, can keep, I let me keep going. Let me keep pushing my flag. Yeah. I, I, I was pissed off about that. But, like, the, the fact that, you know, you, I, I think it was the same show that Sasa performed. Mm. Um, I think now, but it's a little bit and she couldn't get on, and they wanted to stop her from performing. Since I knew the band, mm. and I was MCing, you know, I rapped. Mm. I think it was, um, yeah, I ended up able to rap. I don't know if it's the same one because St. Louis really does do a lot of shows for BW. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's the ad agencies or if it's the, you know, the organizers who then don't want like musicians to meet with these artists. What's the as point? Well. I don't know. It's to, I don't know if sometimes it's to embarrass us or to make us. Or feel they wanna they, they wanna want. be the superstars with them. Or. That's what they want. I think a lot of the and I I want to say. I really don't want to bl blame the brands because they have people working for them. Yeah. Who ultimately get fired, 
mm. and then they have to go to another place mare you know like a brand like that that one Yerbuanka because it's so big in in Botswana and it's it's local a mm. lot of these guys are, are not paying attention you mm. know what i mean or they, they can't read the room mm. so i don't i don't know where the mismatch is but like hey yeah. embarrassing us is Uh, no, uh, no, because like I'm, I leave early, well, but, yeah. and I really don't want to get into it that much because mm. I've seen guys be kicked out like, but who me so dog? You know, I got about to attack. Um, I remember one time go the the orange gig. Um, Eve came through, you know. Yeah. yeah, and I was with my band already. We were outside already mm. because you know at that point happened. ATF freaked us out. He came in a coffin. Mm. You know what I mean? So, they're <laughs> like, we're just cracking jokes. I think Bozus were the ones who were pushed out. Mm. You know? Mm. Keep us on order. Like, why do these people do this to us? But like, yo, that's the nature of the business, man. So, what makes you keep going on even though there's so much disrespect? Oh, where are we, boy? I'm always in my own bubble, you know? Space, I think yeah. the the music e- is even speaks for itself, you know? I, I never, it doesn't sound like I'm here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm always in my own bubble. I'm in my own world. The targets, if I'm, my, the guy I'm trying to beat is maybe Jay Cole over there. Shout out, Jay. He <laughs> <I> apologized, man. <nigga. laughs> yeah, he's weak. But, I'm always in my own bubble, you yeah. know. Like it's never, it's never personal with with me. I haven't gotten to the point where I hate somebody in this industry or I'm envious. Dog, we thought you I, know what I mean. I'm envious of your peace, dog. I don't know, man. Like, no, these days I'm different. I mm. mean, my misto, I want. But I generally, I used to like. Shout out, my misto. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to be, like take everything so personally. Mm. But like. I realized after some time that it wasn't really worth it as well. Yeah. We stress away now you're mm. going to get migraines. Mm. Um OTV2. Yeah. You guys are already doing amazingly as far as the videos, yeah. Yeah. you know, um Henny and Ice T. We yeah. should have mm. you know, put some Henny in our biscuit. Eh double shake, but like next time. Yeah. Uh, some Ice T. Um how 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 was that going? How was the rollout going for that? So how OTV2 came about also okay I'm done with POV I think he had released a fantastic experience mm. as well like we haven't made music in a while but we've grown as artists yeah. you know we've grown as artists we link you up drink it really slow, nigga. me what do you want from me <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> let's go yeah. I'm thinking. <laughs> you want me to start spilling? Hey, no, no, we're getting to. Ben T warned me about this actually. He was like, yo, when you go to the podcast, make sure that. <laughs> no, really, you got one Make sure you relax. Remember, at uh, <laughs> Drinks Direct, make sure that you holler at uh, Drinks Direct. There's actually a special coming through soon enough. Go to Falana Leka and also at Likorama. So, Biske and Dubishay. Going back to you, Papa. So, OTV2 is very intentional. Unlike OTV, the first one, you yeah. know, we're like, okay, we're making, we're making a project now. Yeah. And some tracks uh, we made like probably two years ago, like the last track on OTV 2 was made is the oldest track. Yeah. It was from two years ago. So it, it, it stemmed from one of us listening to these old tracks and, and we're like, yo, we need to make a project. We need to put this in the project. Then um, we linked up. This is actually... The first time I spent so uh, so much time with a person in studio because yeah. I like recording alone. I like getting the beats and just you know. Yeah. Now Ben T's there. Now we're, <laughs> we're, we're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're he cooking. seems like a really hype dude. Yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> he is. From the little time he, he, we spent more than like he, an hour together. He, he, he is. Ah, he, ah, he is. He's definitely the party star. Yeah, the energies definitely. are there. The energies are there. Now we're like, okay, we're gonna make a project. We don't have Zen with us. Damn. We need to learn what Zen taught us. Yeah. Okay, project listening session. Yeah. We still have the context from the media that we have. Our media friends, we need them there. We need this person there. So we need to make it look like Probably. the project it is, you yeah. know? 
so basically it's just us using uh our muscle memory yeah with yeah. with with no uh help just doing it ourselves yeah. we're both grown we've been in rooms where we've dealt with guys without zen mm. now we're like okay the music has grown we have grown yeah. this is what we're gonna do the roll-up plan is looking amazing we're shooting videos yeah. before i think of the first video was not even a video it was at a YSO party mm. and um the first track was Ubanim Jita Lo and we just put it out then after that we were no, like no I, I they were dude, like dude that's radio play this shit he tells me it. yeah hey, maybe I just stopped because mo di tsana rapid calling tsa rona di na the station it's it but like yo man mm. some of these songs i feel mm. really don't mm. get as, that song, my nigga. Yeah, we, yes. put, we put that one out first and that gave us momentum yeah. to put out the next, next, next. So we're like, okay, we, we initially planned to shoot visuals for everything. Once you know shit happens, you know, mm. time also. So we're like, Ish, let's just do what we can. And yeah. that roll out was amazing, man. Yeah. Like the people received it well. Yeah. People are tagging us every day, different yeah. songs for different people. Yeah. That was a good run. Definitely. I, I love that. So um you guys are now under what type of management or mm. I have, do you have your own management and then does Banti have his own management? Yeah. I have my own management. Um Kibo okay. man. It's a lady called Daisy. Is it the cause I saw you talk to some lady during the Botswana um, Music Awards um launch. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, it, it's, her, it, it's, it's, it's her, you know, she she helps me a lot, man. She's the one who actually helped me out with the BBC Spotlight Africa thing. This is Africa. I actually have it right yeah. here. Yeah, she's the one who helped me with that one. So uh, since then. Why are they using old pictures, though? That's not an old picture. I was looking rough that day. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That no, is, this is so local so corner <laughs> was there. Ah, <laughs> what do you mean? The they shot that. Come on, man. No, no, no. Ah, what do you mean? I was like, where that was my nigga at, though? What? <laughs> no, it's no, not, no. bro. I know, okay. Now that I look at it, what are the side view? Peripheral vision. Ah. Nah, hi, di papa. Hi, yeah. hi, hi. So, what, what exactly do they do? Because what they it do seems is, like you're releasing new music. Mm. Um, I think a little more reminisce and stuff. Mm. I want to be. Mm how we're going to be streaming them differently okay. or like distributing differently i actually have a uh i'm i'm signed to orchard with yeah. distribution yeah. that's a company in sa also william is signed to them as well um Dang. distribution is it it's distribution not, on, okay, it's only distribution, it's yeah. only distribution yeah. yeah making sure that everything is on every digital platform and they help us with playlists and stuff you know like getting on playlists like these new playlists when you get on a playlist you guarantee more streams because people are are, are are learning your music for the first time that people actually have that specific playlist like yeah. new music this what 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 yeah then you have a visa over there oh visa is there who's this visa guy you know yeah. more streams you allocate more streams from playlists and stuff like that yeah. so that's what's different i have a machine running running that so every drop this time will be a bigger drop but mm. tracks like reminisce and um the best i released them on distro kid not okay. through them okay yes not through them so i plan on just taking my whole catalog to them and see and seeing how it goes it's you know? not um how how did you meet them um Zbizu. Hey! My guy, shout out Zbizu. I'm sure he was gonna get so angry if you didn't mention him. Shout out Zbizu. Mudibe, we thank you mm. for introducing Vizo yeah. to Orchid. So <laughs> Bizo told me about or uh, Orchid uh two years ago. It's like yo, you these music conferences that he runs. Yes. yes. Hey. He told me about it, he told me about it. Then next thing I'm in the offices with Daisy and William Damn. and I'm like, okay. That's dope, man. Yeah. So but you feel the difference like as far as like playlisting because like sometimes when we look at these lists you'll drop your your track on distro kit and then it's on spotify it's on um on youtube sometimes and it's also on um, they, apple there is so how would you number one why would that one number one thing because i think you understand that better. what i would like get people now are streaming let's say you're number one in the bots 100 that means a lot of people in haboroni botswana francistown whatever are streaming your 
your music. That's yeah. why you're number one. Even people in wherever people in SA, you just drop a record. But why yeah. does it seem like every artist in Botswana, when they look at their iTunes, they are number one? Nah, it's I'm Im- serious. It's impossible. Some people like sometimes these guys by the recite the the Photoshop. What I I don't know if it's like it shows you that you're number one from your your point of view. Yeah. Well, because like I think when you have a machine, maybe in that way they can be able to like plug so, you. Okay. So what you're saying is, if I'm number one on the bots 100, it's like it, on my phone, hell, like, then I phone. I grab your phone. <laughs> I'm number one. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, no, no. Have no. you ever done it at the same time with another phone though, of mm-hmm. another artist? Nah, but I, my Try guy, it. my guy would, my guy would check, double check for me. Okay, right listen. Yeah. Yeah. Probably one of the biggest accomplishments as a team. Yeah. When Deja Vu dropped, yeah. he was number one trending on Apple Music as the platform. Yeah. Mm. No, Deja Vu is different. So, mm. Yeah, because <laughs> it's heavy that one. Mm. Hey. So that the people went to the song and they were number one on the whole platform. When you, when you open Apple Music at the bottom, it says DJ. Mm. Right? Mm. Rita, 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 get some mic. I think Rita, I'm okay. <laughs> hey. But uh, yeah, no, but like, I, I, I don't know how sometimes algorithm yeah, thing works mm. with these things. And mm. I think that's what makes a lot of people just throw um, their, their tracks onto so any of these streaming platforms and not really expect a return. Mm. So I don't know I think where most, you are. I think most that. people do throw these songs on on the digital platforms and they don't expect a return. Yeah. As long as I can get it on Apple, Spotify, I think that's cool. You know? People have but these, the are, these like bigger artists have people who actually pitch the single. Yeah. They hand in the signal, the, the single to a distributor probably a month or three months before which gives the distributor enough time to pitch to apple yeah. itself yeah. S- pitch to spotify themselves okay yeah. this guy is doing he's releasing this record i need this on this platform on this playlist on this yeah. playlist a lot of people don't pitch their songs because they don't know how to yeah you know some yeah. people have direct contacts with people at Apple and we'll There's deal actually with an office that they walk into yes, and then they yes, sit down and have yes, a conversation. Yeah, they'll pitch their music and stuff like that. I think most artists don't even know about pitching or playlists. As long as it's on Apple, Spotify, We're that, fine. that's fine. But yeah. Spotify is dope because it has these promotions that can help artists like promote their like you pay a subscription they'll be doing the the pitches for you and yeah. what 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 that those kind of platforms i don't know if apple has that but most people just put on their, their songs on digital platforms not expecting st- streams i don't think guys even care about their streams as long as you can find this song on apple on apple it's cool and you can be able to put it on a story on on Instagram. You get what I mean, yeah, because it's, that's the only way you can access it. Yeah, but now now the, the business is bigger. You know what I mean. If you wanna if you wanna go hard, you need to find out how to pitch these things oh or God. use these promotions that are on Spotify. Get more streams. Get get your music like everywhere, bro. No doubt. So a distributor does help with that. So it's different right now, other than just me doing it myself and not knowing how to pitch. So when the bookings come in, are they hollering at Orchard or are they hollering at um, your LOC, Local Organizing Committee? They're hollering at Daisy. Oh, okay. Yeah, my management. (laughs) Last week's price? It's not the the price. not the same price. How how much of a difference? Because because I'm I'm sure it's an international... um, you know, representation. Now the prop- what type of um, how big of the pie? Do <laughs> is it any different from what you've experienced before? It is. It's. It is. The price is definitely bigger. That's why I think we're not even getting as much gigs because guys are just like, yo, I'll perform for this much. What? 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 I don't want to seem like I'm desperate. Although it is tough times. I won't lie. Yeah. Like, I will be like, okay, there are those flexible ones, but sometimes it's a nah. Because I've done this. I've done this. Why can't you pay me this much? Yeah. Your headliner, I know who he is. I definitely have a rough estimate of how much he's getting. So it looks like we're not we're not gigging enough, but they're not matching the price. Yeah. That's it. They're not matching the price. And if you fold... Hey, man. Slate. 
Yeah, but then there be people who then look at you and call you a gatekeeper because, like, you've been in that face for a while. Ozzy's been calling out a lot of people. Mm. I know I'm I'm on the list soon mm. enough. You know. mm. But like, <laughs> I could definitely people love calling people gatekeepers because they're gigging a lot. And now because you've toned it down, but in 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 your eyes, you have completely just moved away and like you've stopped mm. as much as you used to mm. be. So when people call you and Boben T gatekeepers and people like Bodato mm. and people like who are really in everyone's eyes. Does gate, you, is gatekeeping does that mean a hard worker I don't know Vizo. what would <laughs> you say if, to someone who looked at you if I'm a gatekeeper you, that means I'm uh, they, that there means, are never specifics about it I but am, I'm just when someone starts speaking like that what I, do you I'm think I'm like are about? you fucking mad like I've I've worked with so many people I've always I'm always looking out for the next best thing like I will DM my guy and say yo this is fire can we work Yeah. I, I do that thing I'll go to, I met Don Taggart through Drama Boy. Drama yeah. Boy was like, yo, this guy, keep him close, you know. Mm -hmm. I did that. The producers like Current. I saw Current. Yes, um, Current is awesome. Freestyling. He used to freestyle in the he car a lot. Do, 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 mm. He used to freestyle cream. in the car a lot. Fa on Facebook, I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? Let's yeah. work. Wanda. I heard Wanda on Facebook. This guy's going crazy on SoundCloud. Yo, bro. Your shit is hot. Can we work? This is always me. Now he's at Madlera Dope. So man. how? Uh, how Where is the gatekeeping? What, what are you what talking do you about? What do you think gatekeeping is? Why didn't you have experienced it? I've experienced a bit of blacklisting. What did you do to them so they can? I won't. I won't mention the radio station. I won't mention the person. I release a song. I go to the radio station. I've sent the song to the radio station. They play, they play the song, and it's an EDM rock track or something like but that. Don't, don't do that to the beat, nigga shit. What the horrible is like, for now? You know, yeah. like, they're not playing my joint, but I submitted it. But it says Viso View this song. But when you play it, it's another joint. So isn't that a uh. form of, <laughs> isn't that a form of blacklisting? You shouldn't have said EDM. Mm-mm. Nah, 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 nah. Not, not say. He I'm, got it. Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so now it's another track, and I'm like, ah, what? What's going on? You know? I went on our out and I, like niggas are out here answering for themselves. But like for you, then I'm um, blacklisting you on that thing. Was it like anything that you could have avoided? No. Yeah. Uh, not really. And also, so I know some, some like people won't book me for personal reasons also like i don't know that personal reasons like trust me like i'm very i'm i'm always in my own world that i don't understand yeah. a lot of things you know what i mean yeah uh they'll they'll call me yo we want to book you for what 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 too many stories when the day comes zero i'm like yeah. ah then somebody from somewhere tells me yo this guy was in the office saying yo don't book this nigga <laughs> Like, I don't know what your personal reasons are. Like, like This know. is too much of a small place for some of this stuff to be happening. But it happens more more um, often than not. And this is why I'm saying, like, your mental um, peace. Like, I'm, I'm almost jealous. Because some people, you know, sometimes, like, some of us react and say, ah. Uh, but it doesn't help anything. Here's a tough question for you. Sink or save? Sink or save? Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple of names. Yeah. A lot of people are drowning. Mm. Balatlava Blanco or Obado? Who would you sink? Or who would you save? You are on a boat. There's okay. only two of you. Can I, well, you can only save one person. Um, I'm saving Obado. <laughs> Why? You let you let ski drown. <laughs> Uh, it's either that or no, 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 no excuse no, no. my what, boy. What, what was the deciding no, factor? <laughs> Obaro, I, I, Obaro was one of the first um, rappers, producers I've ever met through Ryan Blaze. Like uh, before he was even faded music, I had a relationship with Tech. You Tech, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was my guy. So definitely, yeah. I'm saving Obaro. I got a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, there's no short glasses. I'd kill him. I'd kill him. All right, let's go. You, okay. You're saying if you can't decide, take a shot. Okay, if you can't decide, take a shot. Give me a glass then. What are you doing? Hey, 
Are we still? Oh lord. <laughs> so I gotta make them harder, huh? Shit. Yeah, we'll both take a shot. Cause you gotta wrap it up, huh? Soon enough. On time. Nah, no, it's. Woo wee! I gotta, I gotta make sure. <laughs> you good? We're still on, I guess. Yeah. All right. Sync or save, yeah? Yeah. Um, and apparently, if you can't make a decision, <laughs> you're going to have to take a shot. Okay. All right, Papa. Let me just fix the shot. <laughs> you, you're a little too excited. No, with because it. this one is going to be hard. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Ah, uh, snap. Uh, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. Damn. What are the biscuits? It is. There's a bunch of bees flying around. Okay. Sink or save? Um, main dealer or Yao Bannerman? Main dealer. Damn, that was easy. <laughs> Listen, you gotta write me one. I gotta get this nigga to take a shot. Oh, God. Sink or save? You, you guys gotta write me some because, like, I had one that I forgot. <laughs> I had one that I forgot. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> Sink or save? <laughs> Mposi Bina or Tato Jessica? Jeez. Thanks, baby. <laughs> there you go, Papa. <laughs> it is well. Do. <laughs> hey! We got him. <laughs> What's your relationship with both of them, though? Like, ah, uh, those are my sisters, bro. Yeah, no. They make great music. Yeah, no. Okay, boy, no, no, no. Like, I knew as soon as she said it, like, that was going to be a hard one. Yeah. You've done some amazing work with, with, with Tato as well. Yeah. Um, with her saying that, like, I don't know, fuck it. I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Um, do you feel there's anything anyone can say to her? I talked to her. I talked to her when she did, when she did um, put out the statement saying she wants to quit, you know. Yeah. I told her how, how amazing she is, you know. But I do understand, like, people have different problems, you yeah. know. But people are humans at the end, yeah. At the end, like, maybe she could have waited it out a bit, you know. But she felt like she needed to detach. I think she's going to come back. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Let yeah. Me like I think she's too dope not to come back. And I think she probably listens to music about Ulog or like, I could have done this better. Exactly. Because that's how music then, it's like radio. Hey, I'm going to go to Exactly. And she's like, go do a damn part then. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Here we are. You know what I mean? Okay, sink or save? Uh huh. Damn. Benti or Rose? Ah. Uh. Benti is. Ah! Oh God! I mean, I Rose is my you. guy, but Ben T is my guy. I thought I had you. Do we have another one, guys? I don't think we have another one. Kendrick or Kendrick or Drake? <laughs> Pass me the class. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no! Thank you, little. With love from Block Five. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So how do you know I'm not going to answer this one? If I don't answer this one, you're taking that shot. I just wanted you to pour it up nicely. <laughs> Kendrick, nigga, take that shot. <laughs> yes. Uta <laughs> smoothness. Wait a minute. I wanted you to feel the pain. Yeah, but it's dope, though. I like it. Hey. It's very smooth. And like for someone who wants to be a boy, I'm kind of 40. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you can't just be taking every shot. Yeah, but yeah, it, that is, well. it is so smooth, man. But still there, though, with one Bo, 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 Bo Kendrick. Yeah. yeah. Like, all right, cool. Um, you're one of my favorite lyricists of all time, my mm. nigga. And, you know, I saw okay, I'm on your jock or stuff. Mm. But, like, I, I would really like to hear from you. Or mm. not, okay. With what's going on with hip-hop right now, do you think there is now like a change to lyricism? And who is number one in that big three? And who's number three? Number one is Kendrick with lyricism. Drake is a bigger artist, but Kendrick is a better rapper. 
J. Cole fumbled. So we, let's not By even apologize. Yeah, let's just say he top. Really fumbled, let's just yeah. say top two. If you're not about it, stop it. You know. But he sounded like he was about it though. Yeah. yeah a lot of guys sound like that. Kendrick oh, for me over Drake. Like so, I, Drake, dope. Cole number three. Yeah. And the state of hip hop. I think the state of hip hop is the same internationally. I think hip hop is coming back. Yeah. You know. I think people are appreciating the lyrics now. You know, there was a phase of mumble rap. Yeah. My guy likes Future over there. No, this nigga will I, argue with me. I can't like understand. Ever. I, I can't I, understand Future, a- but I I like Future now. But that you know chorus I mean? though, unlike that though. You. It's dope. Yeah, the simplicity, and that's what makes him him. The simplicity, straight to the point, yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy can make a hit, you know what I mean? But the state of hip-hop, especially, like, I think, even in bots, you see how Ozzy's going hard <laughs> like this, you know what I mean? Big it, big. I don't I don't think it, never, it, it died. I think we were just, it was just dormant. It was just, like, sleeping, you know? Because yeah. I'm a piano, still dominant, but they're getting tired of it. To some extent, Tyler, like I heard t- Tyler's new one, mm. and even across Bonne, it was Mufli um, they're really, really tired of it. Like, mm. the new one that Tyler has, it's like, um, the album or a single? No, her new single. Um, oh god, not it's true today. I'm a fan from a Joburg, something, mm, I'm something mm, like, mm, from Joburg, so it's got oh. like a TikTok challenge no, and whatever. Today. So, but I like that they're plugging. But you know, but Tala like is, that, is not really like I'm a piano like that. It's R and B. I'm a piano. piano like there's a fusion there. You know what I mean. But then the Botswana sound that everyone is always trying to talk about. What is the Botswana sound? Because I have a problem with with somebody saying that yo, you guys need to rap on traditional traditional beats. So. Yeah. Yeah, I try that with Mpulele, to be honest. Nigga, that is exactly what people but, mean, though. But with a with a twist to it. Okay. Yes. I don't know. I I think I sent you Silabe, and all you sent me was, "Oh, this is hard." <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Karakore, there is no unbothered nigga in the world than my homie here. But like, I <laughs> I love it because like, he's like you. What's on the like um Jonas hey. um on our team? It's like. It's like, all right, cool, nigga. We hear you. All right, mm. cool. It's nice. Mm. But then, I, I, I was about to get on a whole tangent about how Mpulele is what I think is, in essence, the count. Mm. Mm. And that's what you guys did. Elevated that count. But I don't think you can do a whole album with it. Yeah, and I also think people have a problem with, with, with me spitting in English too much. And it's but you too- compromise sometimes. I've seen you there. Really? Yeah, it's throwing a little... <laughs> <laughs> something but but and i saw ricky just so i know yeah, yeah. you know my mom obviously no, even the yellow know, right now it yeah just doesn't really. it's, it's like <laughs> ish. <laughs> ish. but but i do but i do i do throw it in you know yeah. i do throw yeah. it in and i'm looking for the bot sound everybody's looking for because you and all of us, Mpulele is not the first one. I'm sure. I'm sure Frost has done it with uh, uh, Hanya um, Pe. You know what I? That's what they call Hennessy now. What, um, Daddy Skizo told me. So. <laughs> yeah. It's called Hanyape, yeah. So I'm also looking for that sound, man. There's there's something that goes in in my head all the time. Like with us, we don't have accents. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have, we don't have, you can put a Motswana anywhere in the world. We're going to adapt. Yeah. We don't have accents. You can't say, hey, this is a Motswana when you're in Pretoria. You You'll never like, know ah, until no, they tell you. you what, 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 Even no, the eh? white Motswana from Saroy. You see? I met one like, in actually, like Uganda. Oh, what, 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 what? So uh, we're very flexible people. Yeah. You know, we're very flexible people. And I think that's how my music is. I'm very flexible. No like doubt. you can give me any beat and I'll do best. Do you have a political opinion? No, I don't. Just hold that thought. I'm going to take a leak. Yeah. And then we- How's the interview though, guys? Okay. I'm getting late. I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> or else. <laughs> like, yo, yo, need to get the fuck out of here. Le hedi tseli. 
These guys are done with the bottle, bro. We come back. Buy it. How about the How about the other one? Little part of it. Are we on? Oh, shit. Yo, Papa, let me get some more. Okay. Hey, um, what's the on? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Um, yeah, all right, cool. I want to talk about um your relationship with fashion. Um, I don't know how much time we have left, you know, because. All right, I want to talk to you about your relationship with fashion. Um, it's not hard. Yeah. For people to see you on order, like you have some sense of fashion. Yeah, yeah. Have. Um. I want you to tell us about your relationship with fashion and also how it contributes to like the whole visual, you know, and how important it is to hip hop. Um, I'm going to give credit to a girl I'm never going to mention, but um, yeah. she just told me like, yo, you need to dress better. You don't know like, about I can't I can <laughs> that picture is old, but it's recent. <laughs> <laughs> Point. So she was like, yo, Point. you need to, you know, dress better. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm good with colors. Like, I'm not really, like, a fashion guy like that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know the latest, whatever, whatever. But I know what looks good on me, you know hey. what I mean? And I'm very good with colors. I can coordinate and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's important for me because looking good just means positive energy, positive vibes. Yeah. I'm gonna get more customers. I run a business. I'm a rapper. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna get more customers from looking clean. If I look dirty, then it's a thing. Yeah. Definitely. You know? Yeah. I, I feel that. So some girl just once said, "Yo, get your shit together." <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us. <laughs> nah, I can't. Hi. But we're not on good. Close, we're, not, we're not on good terms, so I'm not giving her the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, she knows. I'm not increasing her her followers. Nah. But fair. she knows though. No, she knows. Okay. She was like, "Yo, this is what you need to do." It's the one good thing she did. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, how? Um, actually, you know what? I think we should just get to it. All right. I want your top five BW um rappers. Pop rappers, um, dead or alive. Dead or alive. Yeah. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> Let me, but no pressure still. Seriously, no, no pressure. Cause this is not in any order. This is not in any order, right? You're chickening out though. You gotta make an order. Nah, I have to think. Yeah, we're gonna take we some have like you said ten minutes. Nah, we're gonna need more. Te I okay. need to if I think more than yeah, it's gonna take too long. One guy, Frost Legaro. Yo. I love Frost. Yeah. Frost actually dissed me on a radio station because of that number one thing um do had when I was uh Frost was number one and I was number two. Oh the F and B um had the king that, that shut down, yeah. Whatever, top ten. Then we had an interview. Oh, Lord. Can't did this nigga had a diss track ready for me at the interview. He came in a suit, my nigga. Him and he, he came in a suit ready for business. <laughs> I'm listening to the joint uh, saying, Vizo, I'm like, what? Ah, ah. <laughs> ah. I'm like, yo, this Are guy. This plot, huh? He's crazy. But yeah, man, I, I really I really mess with the Frost because I saw him performing live. I know what he can do live with a band. But then why don't you have done a song with him? Then? I have on Where? his album. The last album he dropped. I kiss again. I'm there. Get it. But he, yeah, yeah, Frost. Let me not get into that. <laughs> but what? <laughs> it, I sound weak. In the track? Yeah. You sent the verse? No, nah, I sent the verse. Ah, well, as usual, he did it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you the need verse. to stop this, though. So I'm going to give it to Frost. Yeah. I'm going to give Ozzy also. This is no Ozzy. Do you know what I like about Ozzy? Yeah. I started rapping in the Ozzy era. Yeah. You know, since Boom Shakalaka remix, yeah. Ozzy, me and Sasa. It's time to go, TTG. TTG, you know what I mean? The man can can rap. All day. Can rap all day. I fuck with that. I'm going to give um, you and Zeus for the next two. Yeah, this is the safe one. But like, I'm going to give you and Zeus for the next two because 
this is just so much. My sister like really fucked with you guys. Ow. Like she really like yo, know, she put me on. You know Thank what you I Susanna. mean? She put me on. It wasn't for you. <laughs> we would have never made this list. She put me on, man. And yeah. it's dope to see that you're still doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No I want to be on that level as well where I'm still doing it like with ease. Yeah. You know, there's no pressure. I don't think you have any pressure. Get a girl. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm t- Listen, it relieves so much pressure. I didn't even know, like, I could. Mm. Yeah, the anxieties, it's like, I don't have And to, you, know. you were the guys I was listening to every day in the morning, 6 a.m., while yeah. leaving this place or going to school. Yeah, man. And I'm like, age. Age. Age, age, age. No Papa. And I'm going to give the next one to Stagger. You know I'm going to give it to Stagger? Yeah. Stagger is the first guy I saw perform locally when I was in high school. Actually, after he after after he performed, I ran to him. I had a gray bag. I had a pen. The pen couldn't write on the gray bag, and I was like, "Yo, please sign my bag." I like, yeah, like you're dope. You know yeah. what I mean? You're dope. You're dope. You're dope. He's scribbling on my bag because <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard. Like yeah. it's not even a signature. He's just like, you Trying know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, one day is one day. Yeah. Our brother. One day, two years later, I have you. And him, young and fresh. Yeah, yeah. Pa. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. Shout out everybody else doing it, but Come those on. are my top five. Honorable mention for honorable you. Honorable mention on me. Honorable, me- <laughs> honorable. Think, think. Honorable mention myself. Dango pa. Mas- I think I'm pretty dope. Yeah, but like, do you know how dope you are though? Yes. <laughs> because that's the only way you can approach I, this shit. I definitely know. I'm not even gonna be. Can you take us before we shut it down about how, like, how do you choose your beats and stuff? Because like, yo, there's a science to it. Nas couldn't even get the science. You know what? Like, picking a beat is actually a skill. Hey, no, me, I know. It's a skill. How did you choose say Oh, seven. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes picking the right beat, you can say anything over it whether it's whack or not and the beat is gonna carry it i've just like good music shout out to my sister again no, but you attack it though like how do you know even the flows like i think why people end up giving you such a hard time because you send your your verse first mm. and yo this is gonna backfire because you're never sending them again what you do is you set the president mm. you know it's like even the way you are, you are, you attack an instrumental, mm. it's never, it's unorthodox as hell. Like, no one sees it you know the la- until you do it, and then you're like... You know, the last oh. the last joint you sent to me, I was actually in studio, so I'm, I'm already burning. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I just finished this track. This guy f- just sent I me think you're gonna a, send it back that a quick. beat. I'm yeah. like, yo, fuck it. The hook and I'm already burning. Like I can tell. Like the beat is is dope. So how many times are you alone in there, though? All the time. Most of the time. Ninety five percent of the time. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I really not that I don't like recording with people or anything like that. I just like my space. What would you? Because uh, niggas have uh, uh, studios open up everywhere. I think I'm leading up to our where. Everywhere. Boshaka, Weibo, fucking Francis Town. Um, okay. People have studios in there. That things I just want to talk about studio culture because yes. like studio culture when I grew up, yeah you could bring the drinks and like this which is why I always try to finish tracks, um because like with me Eric, mm. uh, Ramco always mm. made sure like even though there's liquor, mm. even though there's trees there's whatever, finish. You have <laughs> to not finish. Not gonna be burning my mutagasi and you like, have to finish. Finish the song even if, as whack as it is we'll listen to it in the morning and then we'll put like exactly. the, the finish touch to it. Yeah. Nowadays, sometimes the liquor is more important than an actual, um, b- you know, business. The studio session. Sometimes niggas spe- they drink too much, and like me, that speech starts slurring. Yeah. Okay, I bet I miss not slurring. What about but like, I've learned not to drink to a point where I can't. Do I can't that. work. What about so? What is your studio culture? Studio culture. When I come to work with Visa, what am I? Why chilling? We've got the blue lights. We've got the no smoking red sign. Yeah, We're chilling. Line, it's positive energy. You got the quads. Let's smoke. You got the 
Cha inside it's an oxymoron. We don't follow <laughs> ru- we don't follow rules. <laughs> you understand? That's we don't follow it. rules. We are chilled. You're at home. When do I know it's time to put on my verse? Even though if like, you wanna if bring, I'm really if, messed up, if do if I say wanna, no? I can't do it. The last time you came, chilled. Hey, no. You know what I mean? Chilled. You body that verse. I can't even talk about the track because it's not yeah, even out yet. I'm still mad about that track. You bodied that you, track. I was with Shorty also. That's what I'm telling exactly. you. Exactly. It's, it. it's a safe environment. Yeah, like I like making my studio a safe environment. Yeah. Like as when I'm alone, you feel like you're alone in the studio yeah. when you're recording. You know, I don't like rao rao. I don't like women there making noise yeah. or what 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 we can make noise after the when we enjoy the song yeah it's yeah. done it's mixed listen to this tell your friends yeah yeah damn man i wish this could go on forever do we even have like any more time i think we don't have any more time left i think we're clocking two hours now ah yeah i just saw a clock now it feels like so views of you what would you like to say um in closing look at how Think you're like no DD. No DD. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, laughs> no DD. Um, um, what would you like to say in closing to the people who love you? Um, we love you here at Pudicast. Yeah. Local Con, definitely you've worked with them closely. Like, I want to honestly, I just want to thank you, big homie, for yeah. bringing me here. You know, I was hesitant, hard, you know, but I feel as comfortable as ever. They do, man. Thank you for bringing me out here. Up, Shout out man. to Local Corner. Yes, Please subscribe to the channel. These guys have been holding me down since. No, you no. understand? You can you can go down. You will see the the history. We've got two V's. We've got how <laughs> how does it feel? <laughs> you understand? That one you were walking through. What neighborhood was that? We were in fi- <laughs> Golf Estate. Mm-hmm. Did you yeah. guys get a permit? I don't live there. There's another part. <laughs> I don't live there. There's another podcast that thinks I live in G North and Dog, Parks that video. Or whatever, but I don't live Did there. Did you guys get a permit? No. To shoot. We were just the, doing our own thing. No, that video. And then Flex shows up at the back. Yeah. That was beautiful. So Yo. shout out to Local Corner for that. For the people who still. Yeah. <laughs> for the people who still love me and yeah, love me and the people who are gonna love me who don't know me yeah. thank you in advance the music is coming i'm still me so he's crushed all of that talk about it being your last album right this is the last album then what are we talking about new- the new music is on the last album what is your favorite type of music though if he's apart from hip-hop uh so like the 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 beats the beats J Cole jumps on that nobody listens to chords and stuff the J Dillers J Dilla the producer yeah yeah those are that's my type chilled yo man like I said I wish this could go on forever but ladies and gentlemen we gotta shut it down Dango. it has been absolutely amazing thank you so much to our guest Vizio of you guys let's give him a rock and um, everyone who makes this show possible, shout out to you guys, Local Corner. Um, shout out to our entire team. And uh, shout out to Drinks Direct as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> now we handle that one. <laughs> yeah. It is well. And uh, we we'll it. see you guys next week. And uh, remember, subscribe to the page. And um, there is a, a nice special happening in Kosafalana and Lika. And also Likorama, where they're going to be pushing your Nebiske and Dubiche. You can have it with ginger ale. You can have it with, can have it on the rocks. And shout out to our people at Clear uh, Ice Galaxies for these beautiful rocks. Thank Yo, you. guys, it's been fun. We absolutely love you. Keep supporting the channel. Peace. Identities.